Yeah, that's right. That's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Team North America! Sheesh. Okay, 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 okay. And their opponents, I'd like to introduce Team World! Oh shit, screwed up, screwed up. All right, before, before we get started, I'd like, I would like to ask a question to each team captain. Leo, who is going to be your MVP of Team NA? Spargo. Spargo? Okay. And where's Watch? Watch and Yoshidora. I got a question. Who's going to be your MVP? Akola. Akola? Okay. Based answers. I'm gonna throw it to the casters. We're gonna get started. Make some noise for NA versus the world! There we go. Big D! Let's go! Baby. Damn, well guys, here we are, the main event for Saturday night, NA versus the world. I can't wait for this. We have so much talent on both sides of things. You heard the captains, Spargo and Akula, they're locks for the MVPs. And guess what, man? Guess what? The MVPs of Ooh. each crew okay. it, are walking home with one of these. This is an Intel i9 Series 13 processor, straight up the best in the business for streaming, gaming, you name it. Whatever it is that you use your computer for, you're going to want one of these inside of it. So True. Two lucky winners, regardless of who wins the crew battle, are going to be taking those home. And yeah, it's pretty much the peak experience for gaming. So uh, shout outs to Intel. Big thanks for them coming through and supporting. Has Charles, how y'all feeling today? W, I'm feeling great, man. Hey, cheers, my friends. Yeah, yeah cheers, let's start cheers. this out with a yeah, trip go, to Sipping City. Let's go, chat. Shall we? Cheers, cheers chat. We're in for potentially 60 stocks of some of the hottest Smash Ultimate you've ever seen. 30 stocks on each side, 10 players, 3 stocks. Quick math, obviously. And I think those two captains, captains for a reason, big brain. Who's your captain? Uh, or who's going to be your MVP? Akola. Who's going to be your captain? Spargo. Brainless picks, honestly. <laughs> However, I feel like in crew battles, it's about safe who's pick. playing the hottest. Yeah, it's a safe pick for sure, for sure. What do you think, Chuck? It It's so tough because Steve can get crazy snowball-y in crew battles, right? And then even traditional characters like Ness. I, I know there's not a Ness player, but I mean, any character that can close out stocks with a very simple strategy, I think is going to be so key in crew battles because there's so much tension in those last stock, last hit scenarios, right? Yeah, and you know, I don't think either team has a snake, do they? Oh, no, AK. AK, the AK yeah, the yeah, world. yeah. Yeah, so snake, Incredible I think, character. is a huge asset. It would have been crazy if Armadillo was on Team NA, oh, too, yeah. especially after the run that he's been having this weekend. But Lucario, obviously, uniquely gifted in cruise you know you go down two stocks at the start of the game and you could just completely destroy people but all that aside it looks like we're starting off with tweak versus gluto a little bit of a rivalry between these guys historically sets went very much in tweak's favor i think like the first three or four times they played tweak went undefeated right but the next three or four times they played gluto has won every single one of them so I could not pick a better opening for this. Yeah, and just recently they actually played at Kawaii Con and Tuco was able to take the tournament over Gluto. So a kind of back and forth, but like you said, a little streaky back and forth, right? Yeah, yeah, and hey, they only have one game here, right? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. three stocks, down and dirty, quick and to the point. So Wario, you know, we were talking about right before this when we were all sitting down and, and having a chat, uh, Wario could be either a really big asset or a big liability. Because if Gluto does win with one stock, it's unlikely that he'll get a full walk off from the next opponent. So he might just fizzle out of three. All right. Oh, oh, and it's the Tito. Before we get into it, chat, who y'all got, chat? Come on. You got to vote. Yeah, you gotta got to get in there. Who you got, chat? All right. Wario versus Wario. 
Man, it's been a minute since I've seen these guys play this ditto. Congo Saga, I believe, was the last time we saw these players go face off in the ditto in tournament. I mean, this is a little different, obviously, with the crew battle here. But I, I like getting the Warriors out of the way because if you're going to get max value out of the Warriors, it's going to be in the opener, right? Yeah, it's when he has three stocks, right? Yes. But that said, if one of these guys two stocks or three stocks the other, that's insane to snowball the lead. Uh, but yeah, uh, like you said, Congo Saga, these guys played. Tweak won that set yes. in dittos. He was truly glued in his demon for quite a while. So we'll see if this switch back off of Diddy is going to benefit him or not. So far, the early exchanges aren't going his way. The thing about Tweak is he's always playing best when he's playing to have fun. You know, we talk about Clip Gavin all the time. Wario is really one of his his uh, safe spots. You know what I'm saying? Like He feels very comfortable playing this character. He loves this character. I actually likes the ditto, too. He's a trick shotter by nature. That was his come up in gaming, right? In COD. So... Like you said, playing to have fun, we might see him just tap into a different side of him. Like, whereas in bracket, he might be too serious, too dry hard. Okay, we're back and forth here. It is Tweak that has the lead by a little bit, about 50, 40%, but that's not too crazy when we're talking about Warrior Wars, right? Yeah, exactly. A heavy character, you know, he's here to stay. We're definitely not going to see the walk on the first dog. But hold on, Pluto firing back, actually putting himself in the slightest of leads right now. We can fire back. Wow! Oh, I lied. We are going to see the walk on the first stock. I love that exactly at the 130 mark, pretty much. Tweak, let's see how far he can take this. Wow, no opportunity to stage back. I'm surprised. Oh, barely squeezing by the edge guard there. Tweak trying to get a little bit more damage. There's an air opening and fully connecting here. Only getting 15 damage, though. Usually, Wario getting a bigger opening. Tweak playing really safe here. Just prioritizing center stage. Chat said, I'm getting confused on the who's who, and I think that's really a testament to how well Tweak is playing the ditto, because, you know, Gluto is Mr. Wario himself. But there you go, dash attack, cashing in, only 20% on the board. Good stuff to Gluto. But Gluto has the waft. I mean, resource management is such a big deal with yeah. Wario in general, so right now the full waft is online a little bit slower, but it packs a little bit more of a punch, and you can utilize that armor. And we've seen Gluto be so creative with the wafts, right? By the way, even though Tweet used his waft just to get the lead on the first stock, he's already almost got another one-minute waft ready to go. In about five seconds, he'll have that. So we could see him still maintain the lead off of that. Pluto just saving it for the big moment. And sometimes you want to be more aggressive with the walls, right? The more you use it, the more you're going to get throughout the entire game. Gluto being a little bit conservative, but maybe Tweak just not giving him the opening or the opportunity for that wall. So you're going to hold on to that full wall for quite some time here. Ooh, that is a good point. They need to remove the timer from this game, but there you go. Getting the waft all the way through. Nice shot by Gluto, cashing in, like we said, holding on to the full waft and getting another stock from Team NA. Yep. Oh, and here's the opener here. Yep, just going to rack up a quick 56 with the reset here. Oh, my oh, goodness, 84 God. and counting. The edge guard continues here for Gluto. Reset to the ledge. Can you get the bike? But a very great recovery coming out from Tweet. Finally getting back on stage with Gluto, still with two stocks. All right, now Tweak is going to have the full walk too. So if he gets this stock regularly, then he could use that to come back while the block string off the bike. That, that was, was incredible, so yeah. Stunned. Yeah, he had no bike there too. Big recovery from Pluto going low with the up B. It'd be huge here if Pluto could get, uh, get out of this, only losing one stock. Healing up that 140 would be amazing for the world team, but Tweak saying no, clearing out that stock. And now we've seen Pluto in this position so many times on the other side where he has walked his opponent. Okay, hold on, F tilt. Yeah, that's it right there. Nice F tilt. Luto only drop in, uh, he dropped two stocks, Tweak taking two, so, so far, Team World is up. By one stock, by one stock, not too bad. Tweak definitely made sure to get the job done, at least on the second stock, because that's when it could have got way out of hand, right? Yeah, and you know, as you asked, who do we like? Or at least who does the chat like? I'll tell you who I like. Okay. You might have to call me a Benedict Arnold for this one, but I do oh, like no. Team World. Come on, really? looking really good. Come on, man. And I'm just saying. Ludo already setting after the pace. World Look at that. Look how one. good he's feeling. Huh? I said, at, you say that after World Wins Game 1. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm a total bandwagoner. <laughs> so, you know, come at me for being a trader, bandwagoner, whatever you want. But it's going to be Jazzo stepping up to play. Okay. So Makes Ken's a ton of sense. Yeah, I, I like this choice. You already know who I got, by the way, chat. Let's go, NA. Let's go. You already know. Jazzo's up. Tweak. Those are like two of my favorite players in the world. Come on, man. Hey, I look, look, and as the much. resident Canadian on the mic here, you know, <laughs> I got I to gotta give Team World the boost. But you're NA, dude. It's NA. Yeah, Canada's uh, still NA. Uh, NA. Chat, do you hear this guy? Come on, he uh, doesn't even know what he's saying. Dude, I've at least like seven times today made that mistake where I'm like, oh yeah, it's US versus the world. Yeah, haha. -ha. Yeah, Jazzo, yeah. yeah, Jazzo's stepping in for Cosonics couldn't make it. Super unfortunate. Yeah. Really affected the bracket there for a lot of people. Uh, so it's too bad we won't see Sonics, but I'm very happy because we see Jazzo, so that works out. Worked out for me. 
Yeah, this is a great counter pick. I mean, Gluto has suffered many, many times versus the fighting game roster, right? Whether it be Ken, Kazuya, you name it. It's going to be very effective versus Wario. Wario needs to eventually get into boxing range and, uh, well, fighting game characters, they get a little bit more value from that situation, right? That's I think true. I think they are fixing the timer, by the way. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, we that, can hear it. We can hear it now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, make sure the damage ratio is set properly and all that. You know? Well, it's so funny, too. We just happened to open the Wario Ditto, so we were definitely going to be looking at the timer, like, the entire... If it hadn't yeah. started with them, that timer thing might have gone under the radar for a little bit, so... That's true. Also, when it comes to the up-close fighting, like, obviously, both Wario and Ken have to fight, you know, mano a mano, right? But right. The, the difficult thing is that there are these invisible disjoints on all of Ken's attacks. Not so much for Wario. He the, can get outranged, even though like it looks like these stubby normals are coming his way. The thing about this matchup, too, is Gluto traditionally has had a hard time against characters where SDI is very important. He's talking yeah, about either yeah. whether it's his hand health or however that works out. But he's a hard time against Bayo. And in his own region, uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of characters with good moves that you need to be able to SDI. Bayo and uh, the Shotos are in there as well, especially right, Ken. Right. So like, he's dropped sets to Andres before. Uh, very, very good Ken player. Uh, well, Shoto player. He plays Terry as well. Ryu, he plays them all. Yeah. So we'll see, but Jazzo jumped up instantly. Jazzo also won a set over uh, Gluto at Summit. He uh, did. Summit 5? Yeah, yep. Summit 5. Yep. Proven track record yep. in this head-to-head -head Confidence. Here. Yeah, and plus, when you only got to take one stock, I feel like Ken is one of the scariest characters. He can just completely True. mow you down before you even have a chance to adapt to the playstyle of your opponent. What are the chances that Gluto even builds a half waft against Ken? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. He's going to have to play his balls off for sure. And Jazzo's one of those guys who his confirms are air tight, dude. Like, yeah. yep. Amazing defense easily. for a Ken player as well. Right? Yeah. So very true. Yeah, he is pretty patient. Yeah. Yeah, he is pretty patient, man. That is that is interesting. You have to play a little bit differently. Nice. We got the stock counter at the top here too, chat. 28 left for the world. Oh, here we go. Jump off twice. Oh, okay. See you later. <laughs> charging wall, charging wall. Dude, Jazzo, Jazzo liked that. He's like, alright, that was pretty funny actually. Jazzo better tell him to. Oh, that was rude! <laughs> that was rude as hell! What the, are you kidding me? Is that allowed? Okay, he's got a burn wall. Gluto knew. Yeah. Look at him. Did uh, you see him, by the way? He looked at the chat. Oh my god. Wait, Gluto is feeling himself. Hold on. What, what's happening? Wait. Hold on, wait. Oh, we got a ref? What's up? Max, what's happening? I, I don't know. It's us, chat. What's up, chat? Oh, I We're wish back. I knew, but I don't. Chat, what's up? I would have thought it was something to do with the, the waft, but Pluto was good for it. I don't know. Maybe uh, the, the footstool was uncalled for, maybe? Yeah, right. <laughs> Illegal yeah. move. <laughs> That's it. Red card. Yeah, <laughs> red card red just card. ejects him. Right. W. Yep, yep. Jazzo W. Common Jazzo W. <laughs> Look at him. Didn't even take damage. Wow. Ken, Ken JV. Rule. Back to even stocks. Ken no, really does rule, huh? That's what I'm saying. Oh, Jazzo's like, see ya. Get out of here. Wait. He's just getting off the stage. What the hell? Oh, Riddles. Takes you back to his dang. Wait, Riddles, Riddles, can we get a camera? Can we get the camera on the stage? What's going on here? We're getting a player swap? I'm so confused. Riddles is up there. Dang, Riddles getting subbed in. Riddles! Jazzo. Riddles with a metal chair! <laughs> Did Jazzo just jump the gun and go in? Dude, I like the cat is telling him to? Because honestly, I would I would believe it. The problem is chat now is spamming Jazzo W, but I think it's a, honestly a Jazzo, a rare Jazzo L is what rare, I'm gonna say. Rare, very Jazzo. rare, very rare. Very rare. rare. What Did just happened? Go up Riddle said, Riddle said, son, not today. <laughs> yeah. like, I need you to sit down. <laughs> Jabate, Jazzo Jabate. <laughs> Did Jazzo just ignore everything from the team captain? Definitely, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> dude, definitely. 100%. Leo was like, wait a second. <laughs> like, Bro, what the, the hell? The giant cane on? comes out and pulls him back. Oh, like, no, get off the stage. The, the music bad. starts playing. I feel bad for Pluto, right? Because he's like, oh my god, a Ken, like, mentally preparing for the matchup he already doesn't like. And then you sub in the other guy who plays the same character. Well, I thought he was on the team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> get him out of here. Jazzo on his drink. The thing is, now. now I really hope that uh, Jazzo plays and does very well when he comes in. You know what I'm saying? But now we right, got Riddles. Right. Riddles going right to the Terry, too. I like this. He little, literally just straight up little Broden. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I can't believe it. Okay, anyway. Back to the match. Pluto with the hot start. 65 and counting. I like that down air. Get, like, get the fuck off get me. Off, <laughs> it's so rude. Yeah. Rolling away, man. Oh, DIing that wrong. Okay, not going to get a crazy conversion here. And uh, impressive, no Kazuya. You're just going to go with the Terry here. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by this. I mean, Riddles has done very well against Pluto with Kazuya, particularly in their last few outings. So I mean, he's just trying to send a message like, hey, I can do it with Terry. I can do it with Kazuya. Maybe, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's a long term solution, too, because, you know, Terry might be a little more well rounded than Kazuya, so like counter picking against him. And I you can go, yeah. you know, I don't know, man. Maybe just his feeling of Terry. Sometimes with. Uh, 
Riddles' his counter picks are sometimes a question mark to me. Like, I, I think he does it by feel more than anything, which I respect with the forward air from Gluto. Huge stock for Team World. Love that from Gluto. And that pair just straight up killed. It wasn't even a gimp, right? Oh, man. It just actually died to the knockback. It's kind of rare. Dang, Gluto trying to get this uh, I-9 real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. The lock charging up. <laughs> How do we decide it? Is it by stocks taken? Uh, it's got to be stocks taken. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, probably a combination, die? yeah. I think Chad should vote is how I feel. Oh, yeah. Jazzo MVP, Jazzo yeah, MVP. Chat so knows far. everything, right? Uh, chat knows a lot, yeah. A lot of good fashion takes, <laughs> Yo, Chuck. Dude, what's that? <laughs> they should have sent in Jazzo. Riddles is getting mobbed. Actually, yeah. where's the good man? Is that going to be it? Can you hear him? I lost half hey, my headset. Yeah. Help me! There we go. All right, we're uh, back. Has muted. Has muted. Ha actually, EE -E muted. Yep. yep. Has muted. It's has all good. Mute. Has is like, how do I solve this problem? Just yell louder. But just yell into your mics. Yeah. That's the Italian. I'm Italian, it. bro. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I start talking with my hands. World plant, bro. No, I'm not. Team USA. Let's go, baby. USA, Team baby. Team NA, NA. All right. So Ludo finally going to take the trip off the stage for a pretty good show so far. What? Four stocks. Four stocks, yeah. yeah. Pretty Can't solid. Complain Can't complain. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Fight fire with fire. Second. Yeah. Wait. Whoa. Okay. You're sending in the student versus the master? Okay. But you do get Kazuya versus Terry. I've heard that Kazuya's don't like this matchup, actually. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. I would imagine it's pretty rough for Terry because he's very comparable for Kazuya. He is? I've played the matchup as Terry a little bit. It's rough. What? In yeah. HDR? Played no, no, in, in regular old. I played Terry Low. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. But, that uh, is very surprising. Yeah, it's rough, dude. It's a, it's a hard matchup. You die on hit. But the thing is... Isn't Riddles, that every matchup with, against Kazuya? It, but, like, you have no fast aerial escape. Nice. Okay. Good one, your, your size and weight and fall speed all lend Good themselves one. very much so to Kazuya's death combos. That's okay. like when you got me with the he doesn't have a jab, too. That shit keeps me up at night. Who, Terry? <laughs> or, uh, wait, who doesn't have a jab, too? Uh... Roy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> okay. So Terry versus Kazuya here. Not muted, Chad. Stop bullying me. 26 stocks enough. to 27, though? USA's already getting beat up bad enough. It's N.A. Oh, yeah, it We're a team now, right? Yeah, but Gavin got beat up, so it's USA. Oh, I'm wearing the hoodie, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have an N.A. hoodie. We got N.A. Where versus S.A., by the way. The only South American representative on Team World. Yeah, so Burps. Doing it big for Brazil. I like this too because Ferbs is gonna. He had a rough racket today. He's gonna get another chance to play well. Put some put some numbers on the board. Maybe walk away with a nice process or maybe see what happens. Yeah, I mean Kazuya, very much the character that could take the most stocks by nature of there, how he is. There have been a lot of ego checks up the down air. You're dead. Oh. You're actually just dead. Neutral air down air. Zero to actually true. Zero to dizzle. That's it, man. Bro, the other thing. Oh well, hold on. How's okay. it feel, Riddles? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> The platform's moving. <laughs> the, the platform is moving, Chuck. True. Town and city playing for Team NA right now. Let's go. Yeah. Creating some distance, getting the neutral reset here. That move, F tilt, is one of Terry's best period, but especially against other brawlers like this. Like that extra range you get is so good. Oh, he baited. I'm surprised. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Burn knuckle off the side. Dude, so you had the ego check first. Uh, uh, that should be a what? Good the tech. The jet's good. Out. Hey, he's Furbs. He invented the Furbs tech for a reason. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Still good on those platforms no matter what he gets. Dude, can I just say it? This uh -oh. character's <laughs> fucked, man. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Yeah. Kazuya, yeah, bro. Max, Max when Terry does it, it's cool, okay? Really? Yeah, man. That's so surprising coming from you. He gets like a three-piece, four-piece at best. <laughs> I love his down air. Go dude. is bullshit, but, you know. Oh, look on, at this. Man. Look at this. Look at this. Zap. Zap, brother. It's oh, a lot of damage, but go meter. Too, yeah. That is the thing. Is now he has go. Wake up super, please. You're a Smash player. You oh. don't know any better. Oh, no. Dude, yeah, Kazuya has player. the best wake-up DP of all time. What? It doesn't even put him in the air. It's like weird. This is huge, by the way. This is this is for the lead. Oh, oh my way. way. He, did the, he did the super. The South Riddles, American air dodge. Riddles is laughing his ass off. He's like, I did the, it's the, not super hit confirm. It's like super hit deconfirm. You know, oh, I didn't hit it. Whatever. We ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Send, Send the super anyway. Can I also just say this much? I think sure. this was a huge blunder by Team World to put Furps in against Riddles. It was an ego check. You know, you know, Riddles is so good at that matchup. There's no one who knows more about Kazuya and no one who would feel more comfortable and more confident against an opposing Kazuya than the guy who wrote the book on the character himself. I will say yeah. Riddles is hard to counterpick in general. The nice thing is, is that he is locked into Terry. So maybe there's some, but we saw that from Jazzo too. Like there's just some confidence. So much so right. that he wasn't even up to play and he got up there and tried to do it anyway. Wait, is Yara on Team World? He should be, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that we didn't oh, see Yara come in. Oh, let me Yara go through the roster in. chat. Or, yeah. or yeah. Siski. 
There's right? so many Actually, like uh, Samus's or list, like Actually. a zoner that could have done well. Be. Shit, Wait, Yara is also not on the list. Wait, so we have so the captain for NA uh, is Leo. So you have Leo, mm -hmm. Spargo, Tweak, Light, Riddles, Ouch, Big D, or even Mia. Days. Yeah, Mia's a great pick. Yeah, oh, true. Yeah, should have sent me. A but then there play. were two vote-in players for NA, and it was uh, Apollo Kage and it was Sonic, who was replaced with Jazo because Sonic couldn't make yep, it. R.I.P. Yep. And then Team World, uh, the captain is Yoshi Dora, and then there's Akola, Gluto, Shutan. Damn, this lineup is killer. Ken, uh, Mia, Tarek. Mr. R and then two Bowden players as well. So Yeah, which was Furps and yep. I forget who the other one was. Well, come on, Max. But it's Furps and someone. Come on, Chuck. <laughs> Max got one. You get the other one. Uh, it's on the shop page. Well, I'm not they, going there. That's the TO's fault. They didn't update it. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, let's throw the TO's under the bus. Yeah. They, they did not work hard enough as <laughs> Yeah, event. we're not getting hired for Battle of DC6. <laughs> yeah, we're right. I love this event. This event is so much fun. This event so rules. Oh, fun. yeah. Oh, greatest event of all time. You know, see, <laughs> That's why Jazzo got kicked off, someone <laughs> said. <laughs> Jeez. Why did Jazzo get kicked My off? mic isn't working. Stop it, Chad. I don't know if they're trolling Has anymore. muted, has muted. I has mute rules. You know what, Chad? I tried to do the nice thing. They were like, one of these mics is like acting up a little bit. It's like, I got it, guys. No problem. Well, my Italian slight, slight regret coming through right Just now. Just a little bit. We'll hear slight has regret. through the other mics. I'm getting memed on like EE, dude. <laughs> Body. Someone's got to get memed on. All right, well, all You're, that aside. Do you want me to change it to you, Chuck? I, wait, you could. Wait. Okay, <laughs> Mia, dude, Mia hovered Lucario and then Meta Knight before deciding. Mia's to got characters. Mia, yeah, Mia, Mia's surprised. got fundies, I gotta I, say. I played as Rob, I played as Game and Watch, I played as. Uh, I think that's it, actually. Jump off the oh, stage, Riddles. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Truly the pinnacle of fundies. Rob, Game and Watch, Steam player. You know. Hey, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, I got nothing. Yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> At least Zachary played one of those characters, you know. Couldn't defend that's that Captain, allegation. That's Captain Fundy's right there. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Wait, oh, well, Zachary's not here, all right? Zachary's a go. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's oh, it. That's oh, actually yeah. just Hi, it. Sir. That's actually oh, just wait. it. No, okay, that's no. actually just it. Yeah, well. Oh, Mia's pretty good. Well, well that was <laughs> probably the Mia's, shortest. Mia's match. pretty good. <laughs> well, why? They should have said Look that at Mia's like, uh, all right, well. <laughs> Riddles is even send, laughing about it. Send Jalso. <laughs> <laughs> Jaws is getting up there, man. Oh, Jaws is going to walk up there without even any provision. Light. It's going to happen every every time. Every match. He's just gonna be able <laughs> he gets up there. Put me in, coach. They just check. I love Jaws' enthusiasm. Oh, Hungry Box coming in for Team NA. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. wait. It looks like Big, Big Dawson D. himself stepping up to the plate. There he is. Hey, he looks good in the jersey, man. He's rocking it. You know, that's a medium. This guy is all legs. Yep. And Yep. And coming up here, dead even match. Even stocks across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Ice Climbers versus Game & Watch, I don't know if I love this. I think there are a few advantages for Ice Climbers, namely that up air is really good against the key. Uh, you also have insane kill power, and you might have the surprise back. This is an interesting choice, too, because, yeah. I mean, you have a lot of swords on Team NA. I mean, you got Spargo, you got Leo. You might be saving them, obviously, to close it out, but you have the buzz, too. Like, there are a lot of good yeah, choices here, yeah. and I think it's, it's a testament to Mia because we've seen Mia, and Charles and I were talking about this throughout the weekend. We're like... One thing that Mia has done that is like a true like Xbox Live Platinum achievement is forcing Spargo off of Cloud as Game & Watch. Like, what, dude, who does that? That doesn't get talked about enough. It's like, it's been talked about a good amount, but damn, like that is a huge statement in today's uh, Smash Ultimate climate. Dude, look Wild. at this guy, most wholesome, happy dude he of rules. all time. Great pickup by us. Oh, we don't have the buzz. See but, uh, no, the buzz. We ain't winning this shit. I'm switching teams. You know, it, <laughs> no, the buzz. I'm out. In spite of those like three advantages the Ice Timers might have, everything else I'd say in this matchup kind of just works against them. You have so many ways to split them up, namely back air and up beat, right? You have some of the safest pressure in the game. Wow. Dude, Mia, a student to Brawl because back air was so good for Game of Watch in this matchup. It was like one of his key things that he needed. It was stronger in Brawl, obviously, but I, yeah. I really respect that. This matchup was good for Game & Watch at the beginning, and then it fell off super right. hard when the Ice Climbers realized you could just pip and grab everything. But in this game, you don't have that luxury. And, of course, the reward off grab isn't as heavy. So we'll see. I don't know. Big D might be able to pull this off. Again, the matchup experience, that's what it really comes down to. Japan, yeah. known for having a lot of good Ice Climbers players, but hey, has Mia fought them in brackets is the question. Big D, good matchup experience, too. Shout-out to Logger Moss. Yeah. Great Game & Watch. The whole ass other side of Canada, though. We'll give it up. Canada's like one region, so it's all yeah, good. true. Yeah, they, they love to play them in, in bracket all the time. Definitely, <laughs> one time at least. Okay, the down air coming through, but the grab getting picked up here. All right, getting a good amount of damage, and I love how Big D's also just out of shield punching the uh, up B as well, just going full hop or double jump into the up air. Being able to punish Game and Watch up B and making them think twice about it is so important. Okay. Oh, and that up air, Big D knows that it outranges the key, but is Mia going to give you those openings? 
Oh god, the infinite ledge trap begins. I was gonna say he's labbed that edge guard for sure. He's ledge trap. <laughs> Hours of he's practice. Labbed that, yeah. I thought you were gonna say he labbed the ledge trap. He did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Okay. He labbed it, dude. A real innovator. Perfection. Oh, wow, oh, I'm telling you, there is a though. lot of matchup knowledge here for sure from the uh, the game plan obviously is to go to the skies a lot. The forward airs have been super real. Really like what I'm seeing from Mia here. Now who's taking this first stock is the question. Big D in a great Big D. spot to do I mean, so. not yeah, yet. Uh, Just kidding. Uh, Hold on. Master Domus in the building. Hold on. Not yet. <laughs> Please do it. Dawson, save me. You made your call, brother. No. <laughs> You're locked in yes. now. You tried to scan. Yes, I did. <laughs> Kill him. Yes. Oh, okay, all right. No, oh, L, L. Get fucked. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, the are so yeah, good. Right, I knew it. I knew it. I never wavered. I never wavered. All right. Big D2, something I noticed about him, his shield work is amazing. Oh, oh wow. Jesus. Oh, my God. Wait, is Sopo actually got like, though? Actually on a different level. For real. We've seen so many melee Sopos like, have that claim for being the best one with it, but none of them feel as good as Big D. You you have to, though, right? We I think we say that about every good Ice Climbers player. You have to have a good... Uh, Sopo, and I think a part of that is A, it just is going to happen to you over time a lot, and B, it really does test your fundies with the character. Yeah, oh, over the back yeah, air, yeah. Easy, easy, easy try. Yep. All right, Mia. Oh, I'm taking fire back here. Oh, and he fell out. Dude, did he SDI out of Squall Hand? Insane SDI, yeah. Game Watch is also just naturally prone to falling out of some multi hits due to his lightweight, his low Floating fall speed. Is. Yeah. All right, hold on. That was almost a huge opening for Mia. I feel like once you get one up B or one neutral air, you can really destroy Nana at the very least. But he doesn't seem to be isolating her that much either. Oh, okay. Oh, Big like the double blizzard follow-up. Yeah, that was clean. 20. Wow, catching the full hop with full hop blizzard, that's great. Uh-huh. Keep in mind, too. Yeah, and it's facing around those good aerials that Mia's throwing out, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this is just the matchup. Bombs Ooh. away, for sure. Blizzard taking out the bomb, though. Nice! Did you see him fall down? Trying to catch a Squall Hammer to catch the forward air, but instead falling and doing an up air. It was so good. Oh, nice try. Oh, oh, oh the oh, shield oh, break! Oh, you're wow. dead! Are you kidding me? And the wow! Boot. Damn. Mia's godlike, dude. Wow. <laughs> One thing I've noticed from watching his sets today is that you might get him the first stock. You might even get him the first game, but he figures you out in yeah. a big way. He's been adjusting, right? Like, again, it's going to these good aerials, forward air, back air, but then adjusting, foot, fast falling and up airing. Like, the, the evolution of the gameplay has been exceptional for Mia. Game Watch is one of those characters where just one little tell is enough for him to get massive reward totally, if totally. he can pick you apart in one situation. So I, I think this character really complements Mia's strengths as a player, too. Falling up there, going to be so strong. Splitting up the climbers here. No, just going to get an offstage situation into the lead trap using that meaty dash attack and the back air. There's just no double jump here. Is Mia going to pull the trigger on the down air? No, tries to go for the Smooth back air. Smooth recovery. Oh, 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 oh a double. Are you kidding two me? Two quick ones. <laughs> two quick ones, dude. And Nana is wow. dead as well. Mia with a two stock. Amazing. So they were tied going into that. Yeah, chat cannot believe it. Chat IRL and chat in chat, obviously. <laughs> As you're Damn, so, you're the so double chat berry. I love chat, bro. The chat. That's my that's my goats in there, chat. Let's go, chat. If I wasn't here, I'd be with you, chat. In Terminally chat. online. True. <laughs> are you a zoomer? Give it up. <laughs> uh, uh, well, shit, man. That was uh, not what I expected. I thought it would have at least gone one and one at the end of that. I, you know, and it's huge in crew battles. Those are the things that can really either get the momentum swing in the favor of worlds, right? Like taking right. those. Two, that's a two stock victory. What? Another Wait, ego check? No, this no, can't be really? real. They're like, oh, this they can't threw, be real. So we'll throw right back. I don't know if this is a throw. Obviously, I think the skill gap between Meister and Mia versus like Furps and Riddles is a lot smaller. But still, like you're throwing your game and watch at their game and watch. She's gonna know something about the character, right? Like save that for a surprise factor. I feel like both Kazuya and Game and Watch are kind of gimmicky, tricky characters where you want to capitalize on a bad matchup or lack of experience. This is dangerous for Meister, because he has been he has been Mr. Mr. Game and Watch for years. Like he is the Game and Watch, but Mia has really been challenging that recently, you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. This is this is a gamble. This is a gamble. I do not know how this is gonna go. High well, risk, high reward for sure. I don't think they've played in bracket ever, no, right? I don't think and so. if anything, this might be a chance we for would Meister know. to silence the doubters and be like, look man, I just beat Tweak to make Winterside top twenty four for tomorrow. Right. Like, I'm not to be trifled with at this event. So if he even takes one stock off Mia, that's, that's oh, sorry, no, right. two, because Mia has two stocks. Yeah, if, if he could win this, I'm liking Team NA's odds, but I don't know if I'm in love with the choice, I'll say it. This is tough. This is, I, I like it because I think Meister, this is a Meister call. It has to be. No no one was like Meister get in there and like yeah, take out yeah, game. Yeah, like, yeah. first off, no one wants to see a game watch it all. Let's get that straight. <laughs> However, <laughs> Given the context of these two players, I want to see it. And you know what? Shouts to Mia. Given the respect and going the dark blue game and watch, because they both play that teal color. 
That's respect. They should have both given it up, honestly. But nah. Meister, I kind of like it. I think Man. Mia knows. You know, Meister was here first for sure. He's been doing it big with this character for so long. But he does have the hot streak as of late. But when it comes to the color, you got Oh, my God. They are literally just dashing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it's melee Marth Dittos, bro. It's true. <laughs> the price of one grab is so high. The rare neutral B, just in neutral. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Not exactly something you see. Uh, uh -oh. He's alive because it's Game & Watch, but still. Oh, oh, he tried to down air him? I wow. like that idea. Meister trying to make a big statement at the beginning of this. And oh, the bucket can reflect the up air. That's a big one. True. Yeah, this ditto, I don't think I've ever seen it at a high level. No. There's always only really been one Game & Watch, right? Like one right. top level Game & Watch. This is, this is rare footage, you know what I'm saying? And these two have not been at the same event, I think, uh, <sighs> ever. Wow, pairing the last hit. Again, Scuffle good. Tour, maybe? Tour, yeah. 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 Great matchup knowledge yet again for Mia. Like, this is really good. Yeah, Mia grinds this matchup, right? <laughs> Smash made, bro. You never know. Yeah, it's good true. internet. You probably know true. every matchup. Oh, Back air, though. And Meister, there we go. Meister on the board. Opportunity to tie it up here too, if he's able to take another quick one. And you know, Meister, he's thinking nine right now. He wants it. The the satisfaction Meister would get nining Mia right now and taking the the stock lead back in the favor, or tying up the stock lead would be amazing. Right. It wouldn't answer the question of who's the best game and watch, but it would definitely tell you who God's favorite who's, is. Who's more, Mister Game and Watch? Right. <laughs> yeah. True. I'm the most Mister Game and Watch, but there goes a the stock. Huge stuff from Mia there. Pulling ahead, so Mia's definitely done his job at this point. Like, that yeah, is good. Yeah. Another stock would be huge, too. That's you know, five for him, right? Yeah. Two for Riddles, yeah. No, well, yeah. Uh, no, one, one for Riddles. For one for Riddles, yeah, and yeah. three, yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, Mia on the tear. Yo, uh, I might as well just give him this processor right now. Not surprising. <laughs> not surprising at all. But Meister, looks like he's still setting the pace. At least when it comes to the ditto, he definitely seems to be a little bit of a step ahead. And Mia, with only two stocks, he might not have time for some of that patented yeah, it sucks, adaptation. doesn't it? Deal with it, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how fun is that? Oh, okay, actually, Game Watch has an answer. We should have seen that coming. Oh, oh okay. characters are so stupid. I hate fighting this shit. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, up air into up B, but it was your up air. Okay, going for the down air here, and great punish to double the Meister triple. Loves, he loves down air. Oh, Mia he, starting he an infinite. It. <laughs> He's laughed this again. <laughs> Light punch. What an up air just a, just a match between two lab rats, really, is what we're seeing. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Th this might Minutes be task level. This, went into this is it. it actually is. Oh, oh! There's no way Meister just did that to him. That was godlike. Mia did his job, though. But Meister stopping the bleeding. I like that a lot. Well played, well played. Why is there a bogus posters in I, the crew I, battle? Dude, I don't. Canada's wild. I don't know what to say. <laughs> P&W. Sheesh. Either I way, know. I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. That was good by Meister. I like that. It you was. Know, he, I wish he hadn't lost the one stock, you know, for him, but still a really good showing for sure. Cheers into that, my friends, shall we? Give it up, Cheers man. This is going by fast. Today. This is going by fast. I like this. All right. Well, uh, send Jazza. Yep. <laughs> send Jazza. 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 But, uh, we've had to, given how global Ultimate is, we've really had to consolidate the region. We've needed yeah. to power up because Japan shows up We're so big forces. at every tournament. Yes. Yeah, in, in EU, too, has been so good for so long, man. Great events over in EU, too. Like, I think they have some of the best production in the business. Like, they're just amazing. I love... Dude, that uh, L'Odyssee, the French event. L'Odyssee, maybe. L'Odyssee. I've never seen some, some production like that, man. It's so. amazing. It's beautiful. Well, yeah, I mean, the whole community is just so into it. I love the passion across the board. So, shout out to you guys. What's going on, chat? We want to say hi. Uh, right now, World is up one stock, but it's only one stock. This is really close. It's been great, so... Yeah, really good stuff. Who do you guys you guys stick firm with your picks? What do you got? I still I'm got. I'm still, still got NA. with Team World, but I want NA to win. You know what I'm saying? NA will win. Chuck said it. Look, I'm just a realist. Okay? I'm a pragmatist. They're up one stock. I have no concept of object permanence. That means That's they true. won the crew battle. <laughs> I am four years old. Hi, Chet. What's up? Uh, also, you know, let's take a look at the the roster. See who's left. Could you pull that back up? Yeah, I could do that. I for would sure. if I had more than three percent. Jazzo's still in. Don't worry. Oh, okay. All right. I know Just there are a lot of people it. at home worried. Just in case you missed it. I was worried. He's I hope here. he gets to play. No, he actually lost all three stocks to Gluteny in the span of time that he was up there. So, uh, uh, so is done. NA still has Leo, Spargo, Light. Yeah. Yep. Ouch. Mute, Jazzo, and AK. Yeah. 
That's still a pretty scary roster. Yeah, pretty scary. Dude. And, you know, I'm kind of surprised um, how few Japanese players were on the Team World roster, right? Because I think they tried to kind of showcase everybody, right? Right, right. Like, you had the Bowden spots, obviously, but then they have a lot of European representation. Yeah, Meanwhile, they do. I'm also surprised to see uh, Ken over Yara and... Some, they might not want to do it too. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a chance. True. Like, it, it depends. But I'm happy to see Ken because I didn't get to watch him play today, and he's he's already on the main bracket. So I'm happy I get to watch him play. I am curious to see if he'll go Sonic or if he'll go Sephiroth. Do you? I feel like in a crew yeah. battle, like most people are just going, they're like playing more for fun than like super serious, but they're still trying to style. You know, like Riddle's going, uh, just Terry. going Terry, and then uh, Gavin going uh, Wario as well. Like, kind of mm -hmm. just going through it. So Team NA is throwing, bro. Team NA. I think, I think, uh, the best answer for my stare that I'm seeing is probably Ken. But wait, who did you say production? Tarek. Oh, Tarek coming, right coming in. Okay. Tarek, Tarek. Tar. Yeah, yeah, so we got Greninja or Kazuya. Two characters I really wouldn't favor against Game & Watch, honestly. Especially not Kazuya. Yeah. But Greninja, uh, I don't know. If you have really good whiff punishes, if you're very evasive. You Tarek could, rules, man. I'm a fan. He's a very sweet kid. He is, dude. Yes, yes. Very, very nice. He, I met him at Smash uh, World Tour, and, yep. and yep. I hadn't seen him since. So this is the first time I've seen him in years. So it's good to see him. He's playing well. And chat, he went all Greninja in brackets. Everyone's like, oh, he's a Kazuya. Does he still play Greninja sometimes? Yeah, that is his, like, true main. His real like, main is Greninja. Yeah, yeah absolutely. 100%. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that's who we're going to be seeing here as well. Yeah, especially uh, Greninja versus Game Watch. You're going to see a lot of fair, a lot of neutrality. Definitely. You got you to gotta take it a little slower. Greninja, a character that is so good on shield, but Game light. Watch kind of defused that, right? <laughs> Also, this is like Tweak the, the hates LG him right crew. Now. Look at him. He's so embarrassed. We, we already had <laughs> Tweak second light. embarrassment. <laughs> you know, guys, I, I'm going to tell the stream some lore. Tweak really wants to fist fight light. Like, bare, bare knuckle, <laughs> like, not in a ring, not, not a this. sanctioned boxing match. He wants to just fuck him up. Light and popping off. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's hilarious, but he's like literally Sounds like ready great to do it. I don't think Light cares. I think Light's like, dude, Light never kidding? cares. I would dude. never do that. Actually, he does care. That's 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 Cap. Like, he, he puts is that on his secret? Yeah. It's like you. Trade secret, You're like the Hulk, right? Chuck. You know that. Oh He's always God. mad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Internally. Uh, Dude, <laughs> never let this guy play friendlies against a DDD. <laughs> I remember that. Shout out to Yoichi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking content, bro. That was very fun. I, I don't think I'd ever seen you get that mad. I was very angry. Happens all the time. <laughs> but I, I've heard the legends of Brawl, Chuck, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about you that. You should see me play against Dre's Kazuya. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Kazuya brings out the worst. I love Dre. Shout out to Dre, man. If you're watching Dre, always, always, that's my always. go. Damn, the Red Greninja is so clean, too. I love that skin. It's, it's so good, good. It's really good. Damn. Yeah, the red and blue just go so well together. All right, so it is Team World that is up one stock. And usually by this point of a crew battle, especially a 10v10, sometimes like a lead will get really, really far ahead. But, man, it's just neck and neck this entire yeah. time. It's been great, man. And that's what you want to see from a crew battle, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. I want anyone to blow it. the other team out of the water. But here we go. Neutral air. This is going to be big damage right now. I think up this there. is a big moment for Team NA, by the way. Meister in a pretty favorable matchup. Game Watch wins matchups hard. Yes. Very good anti-meta character. Yeah, and I could be wrong and just lying to you guys and Greninja actually chops Game & Watch, but I don't think so. He's going to want to zone out, and the thing is Game & Watch shuts down shield pressure so well, mashing, and Greninja's typically more of a finesse character, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like zoning out, movement based, yeah, there you go, dash attack, I like that stuff. But again, shutting down the aerial pressure too, Uppy is just such a powerful tool for Game & Watch. Neck and neck right now though. Man, and all these safe aerials just get shut down by the Uppy, Meister. Kind of just simplifying the game plan. Even the combos, right? You saw him bust his way out of the, uh, dash back into back air with the up B. Saved himself a couple damage right there. So, I don't know. It's really going to come down to who gets the first stock and the first big lead. Meister starting on the back foot, of course. Meister doing a good job delaying his up Bs and not being predictable because you look for Greninja dash attack. Oh, oh that's no. stock again. Meister tying it up right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go, NA. And hey, Meister man. really extending this lead here. Like yep. I said, I want Team NA to win. I just think the world what? will. What? So. I said that before. It? Can you believe He's this guy? I said sides. it before. This I is, want NA to win. This I is, just don't think they will. But like if they do, I'll be happy. This is like when the... Oh, that's another stock Jeez. right there. Just like Jesus. that. Super All right, fast. NA, baby. NA's winning this. I knew it from the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just trying to commentators <laughs> curse Team World, okay, bro? Zen Meister. Is having a blast, or, uh, Light is having a blast right now in the crowd, by the way. I, I hope that we can play that replay uh, production. That would be amazing. Is this a three stock in the works, gentlemen? It this is. Could be, uh, especially if Meister keeps landing these down smashes and nice that platform try. not doing any favors for Tark, man. Yeah. A nice attempt right there on the up smash, but did not work out. Here comes Meister, though. 
Oh, the up B too. It's sometimes very tricky to punish Greninja's dash attack on shield, especially if he hits the back of your shield, because like right, you can't right. just shield grab. A lot of aerials go over his head, but Game of Watch covers both sides of the up B. It's super oh. fast. Oh my god, and you cannot approach this man. He Meister has been just up smashing in neutral for years, and it just works all the time. It's like a magnet. Like, like what's He's the a deal? Genius. Yeah, it is. Oh, there you go. Good spacing. Good spacing by Tarek. He's the, a genius. The Meister Game of Watch genius. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my man Eric. True. Oh, oh wow. There you go. He's labbed this ledge trap. <laughs> Look at the minutes setup. of practice went into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was looking for the spot dodge. He was looking for an or a dash attack at the end. Yeah, he held it that he time. He held it that time, yeah. <laughs> and you know, he could have just done another one after. <laughs> it's a big stock here from oh. Meister, though. It, it would be such a swing for NA to go from being down a stock to up to. And you know he wants to deliver on that. Oh my Avery God! He read that. Sir. Huge stuff from Meister, putting World or putting NA further ahead of Worlds. Very nice, taking the lead back. I love that. Meister so clutch right now, and it started uh, with a ditto against Mia too, which, as we said, could have easily got out of hand for Team NA. But Meister so clutch right now. He's been playing hot recently. A couple tournaments, well in the bracket, main bracket here today, and also doing well in the crew battle. Love to see it. He has been, man. And, you know, there's just that constant ebb and flow in any player's yeah. career, right? You're going to have some ups and downs. But Meister's been hot lately, and I, I love to see that, right? Especially getting that win over Mia. Obviously, he had a stock advantage going into There we it. go. He's there he is. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> the real replay. Look, look at Tweak, dude. He's so mad. He's leaning so far away. <laughs> I wish he had the I'm with stupid shirt, you know? <laughs> I'm with stupid. <laughs> Jesus. That is one of the best oh, friendships like, in Smash Brothers. It I'll is great, right yeah. <laughs> Huge fan of both those guys. They couldn't be more opposite, you know? Yeah. And, and that's, like, some of the beauty of Smash for sure. But either way. Uh, Worlds pulling ahead, or NA pulling ahead of Worlds. Up two stocks now, thanks to Meister, some clutch play. This is coming out, playing the ditto very well. Clean enough just to lose one stock against me, and then a huge three stock, and that's something that could just blow this crew battle open, like we said. And I think NA has more of the big guns in reserves. I what? Think going with this guy's a double agent. <laughs> um, what? I'm Meister, just, Meister's right, right bro, there, bro. bro. bro I'm just saying sides. that NA has yet to Ooh. put in Leo and Spargo, for example. Meanwhile, the world has, I guess, Akala and Yoshidora are kind of the heavy hitters. Yeah, that, that would be their, yeah, yeah. That'd be their yeah. counterparts. But they did send Mia we, already. They exactly. Did, but we sent that's Tweak, what though. I mean. Mia and Tweak, and, well, and Riddles, I guess, are, are done for. Oh, so, I don't know. rules. Yeah, this is this is kind of a toss-up. I really don't know at this point who I think is going to win anymore because NA's up kind of big. Two stocks is nothing to sneeze at. Definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. There are a couple of X-Factor players, too, like Mudeus, I think, like can pop oh, off, yeah. take eight True, stocks, yeah. who knows, you know. Jazo, of course, could sit down at the wrong time. Like, we have no idea when he's going to pop up again. I don't think anyone knows. I think he's tried to come up every e single even match. Even Jazo himself has no idea. <laughs> it's like, guys, <laughs> now. Don't, don't forget me. Send Jazo. Uh, Ken is popping up here. Okay. Oh, Jazo. Ken. Yeah. Ken. Ken rules. Yeah. Wrong Ken. Jazo looking a little different these days, I must say. All right, so I wonder what character we're going to see, right? Is it going to be the Sephiroth? Is it going to be the Sonic here for Ken? Whichever one you go with, you're kind of locked in for the rest of the crew battle, right? That is something. It's really interesting, especially in Ultimate, because there's so many different characters, right? There's so many players who have at least right, two right. characters, if not more, honestly. So once you pick, you're locked in, like you said, Chuck, and that leaves you open to counter picks, especially, like, if you're dual main, there are going to be some matchups you specifically just don't play. Like, right, there are right. some matchups that Ken just doesn't play with Sephiroth, you know? Like, it just doesn't happen because he's Sonic. There's no reason to. I... Got to imagine if they're sending him right now. It's got to be it's Sonic. Not, you think so? It's I think be so Sonic, too. Yeah, because not only for Meister, but also for whoever comes in after Meister, it's so much harder want, to counterpick him. Than you Seth. want Ken on Sonic? Yeah, yeah. I agree. But we'll see. I mean, his Sephiroth is very good. He definitely knows how to back air. Crazy how there's two Sephiroth Kens in Sephiroth Ken. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Time is a circle, right, or whatever. Yeah. Either way. All right, it's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. No surprise in terms of the stage choice. Also, it's just straight up good for Sonic. You get a lot of rooms running around. Nice they're doing. The slowest SD of all time. All right, crowd's counting down. It's on, folks. Yep. I think Sonic is really good in this matchup in terms of the ability to run away, deny Game & Watch approaches, make him struggle with his linear approach tools. But it's also really bad in terms of the range. Game & Watch is so much longer than him. Yeah, it, Meister can't really sit back and go ahead and up be the spin dash, right? It's more of a call out. So a lot of safe things on block here for Ken. We'll see how we can extend this lead or, I mean, I, bring it back for them, right? Because it's Chad. NA the one with the lead. Chad, don't say time him out. That's not funny. 
That's not funny. <laughs> that's so, that was like, that like super unfunny, chat. <laughs> yeah, I hope Ken plays very patient here. Uh, well, don't worry about that, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back to Sephiroth, please? <laughs> Bring back the Sephi. <laughs> Bring the Sephi, Sephi. Now, see, the, the main Sephi reason to play Seph, I think, would be that if you're down a stock and you win, you get wing earlier. That is true, cool. actually, yeah. yeah. There are a lot of unique uh, mechanics to that in crew battles that come in. It's kind of like a squad strike, right? Mm -hmm. Characters get, get little buffs or nerfs. Okay, Ken All right. just burning time. 97 yeah. minutes left on the clock, chat. <laughs> I mean, he has the lead. No, Yo. he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> is Yo. it the total stock count that counts as the, when the timer goes off? No, well, Ken was down by like 1%. Nah, it's the current one. Oh, it's oh well, he had, oh, oh they tried to I see what you mean. Okay, I wasn't even looking at the stocks. I was just looking at the damage. Y'all watch that new Ant-Man movie? <laughs> <laughs> Are those Guardians? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Guardians is great. I said Ant-Man because it's specifically not good. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. And is it all great. about time travel and shit? You know, Ant-Man gets small. Can we travel through time? Why? To the why, <laughs> Meister? Why? Made why, SpongeBob? Why? <laughs> Meister has to take a stock here. This guy's never getting his driver's license, his boating license. <laughs> We're actually sponsored by a uh, driving school. Did you guys do that? Know, yeah, it's it's actually super funny because like Smashers don't drive, right? What a great crossover. Whoever I, sold that? W. Like, huge well, brain. I thought the same thing when we did the ad read. I was like, oh, and it's perfect for all you bums. You need it a ride. It really is, this. dude. Well, and I think most people should take driving courses, honestly. Yeah, Sometimes even if you don't have a car, at least learn how to drive. Sometimes passing your driver's test. Hold on. Meister in the driver's seat right what a I ain't trying, bro. No. That's why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> 96 and a half minutes left, guys. <laughs> That's only an hour and a half. Oh, yep. and train. Meister up smashes again. Y'all watching any good shows Yo, recently? What's longer, the timer left on this match or Austin Powers 1? That's a tough the timer one. left on the match. Yeah. It's not even going to kill. Oh, it does! Okay! W! Yes! Let's go, Meister! Another stock taking and holding on to this two stock lead here for NA. Meister bringing out the up smash, bringing out the big guns. Oh, the Nair. Oh, but he falls out. That could have been the start of something big for him. But oh, big damage here. There it is. Yeah, second attempt. I love that forward air actually forcing him to stay in that bad position. Good stuff here by Meister. Oh my oh. god, is he going to take another stock? Bro, he's looking like the MVP right now, I got to say. Yeah, look at this. Meister still continuing the damage. Oh, but Ken getting an opening, getting the dash attack underneath the Nair. Yeah. Wow, and the delay on that, knowing that he'd still be in hit stun. Bro, imagine if Sonics was here and they sent him out. <laughs> like, oh my like god. Like just continuing the string of dittos. Yeah. Oh my like, god. <laughs> and Sonic's from the top ropes. <laughs> just a bro, I wish he was here. I'm a Sonic's fan. He yeah. should have come just for the crew battle, low key. That would have been cool. It's like, yeah, no, well, then we wouldn't have had Jazo, and, and no. So, no, actually. <laughs> disagree. Forward smash, nice. Meister missing it, mixing up the timing just enough. Again, we saw him do that really well, too, uh, against Tarek. Oh, Ken just with these little hops with the What's spin Meister dash gonna away do? from danger. This is <laughs> spin There's, dash versus this, up smash. This can't be real, bro. <laughs> 95 minutes left on the clock. <laughs> You're just going to update us every minute. Oh, what oh, smash attack hits, though. The wow. forward smash coming Wait. out from Ken. Very calculated there. What percent was that, dude? That was that like 95 or something. That was kind of shockingly low. Game watch. Yeah, obviously he's super light, but still center stage. It's 95%, 95 minutes left on the clock. Let's get it. Numerology. Uh, so one stock lead, right? Ken doing a good job cutting that one down, actually. Got to give it up to him. Jokes aside. Very good stuff. Now, who do you answer Ken with? I like, don't does know. Sonic even lose matchups? I think it's got to be Light. I was thinking, I was, yeah, Light, I think is Light's an easy. A good one. I also think Spargo's a good one, too. Mm -hmm. But you'd lock him into Aegis would be the thing there. Maybe Leo, if he's feeling the, the Aegis, because both of them counterpick him with, uh, counterpick Sonics with Aegis, so. Right. Jazo? Jazo's always an option. <laughs> Jazo, yeah. Jazo is always, why, he might be up there, and no one asked for it. We don't know. Right. He, I think he's already on he, the stage. Okay, jokes aside, that matchup is trash, too. But he does play a lot. There you go. There's light. Okay, yep, this makes a lot of sense. I called it, by the way. Genius. Of course. Easy counter pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's genius. W. There he is. Let's see how light does here. I mean, I think the two matchups that Sonic mains really talk about being bad for them is Aegis and Fox. Like, those are the only right. two that they, they truly list as, like, yeah, that's that's losing flat, and that's it. But they, it's they only say like Aegis like two. that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. I actually have not really heard that. I know, like, they're favored in the matchup, but I haven't heard too much about... Like, that matchup being awful, awful. It's a classic, but I think there's a lot of work to be done there because, I mean, Sonics did beat Spargo at Genesis. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's not – anything's possible. When characters are that good in this game, I think anything's kind of possible, honestly. And Sonic is definitely one of those characters. 
I think Tweak is so relieved right now. He's not sitting next to Light. <laughs> That's like, the no, real W right here for Tweak. Huge W for Tweak right now. <laughs> he already played. Look at he him and Sparko, or, or him and Riddles already look so relaxed. Like, thank God that guy's going. Leave enough room between them for the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else takes his spot. It's almost Sunday. Right. All right, Light though, looking poised, looking good lately. By the way, man. He's, yeah. he's been uh, on the grind. Not too many cheat days nowadays. Yeah. So it happens when you don't have tournaments for a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, Light, no surprises, obviously going to go into Fox. The Sonic is already locked in for Ken. Let's see how this goes. Uh, the music has been set. Literally Light's theme song. Yeah, Ready truly. Yeah, yeah. I always think of him when I think of it. Him versus Mars, I always think of. Slight bias, obviously. But. I think of Tweet, him versus Tweet for this. But of course, it makes yeah. Sense. Fair enough. Yeah, a W. Battle, yep, you yep. know, yeah. <laughs> All right. Pokemon Stadium 2 once again. So we saw Ken counterpick Meister here, and Light's like, yeah, I'll take you here too. Yeah, my song is here. Yep. All right. Light with a huge lead, 1.7. And only 98. If, if you can hold it for 99 points. minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, we might be in it for uh, the long haul with this match, but honestly, I don't think so. Light kind of known to just bowl over his opponents. Yeah, Fox will accelerate the match. Oh, was that a miss input? It, it must have be been, bear. right? It dude, had I, to be a bear. Well, dude, if he was trying to mix and get a turnaround forward air drag down, that would have been so hot. Yeah, I don't think the turnaround did much for him there, other than make him miss. But <laughs> well, if you turn him around and they're they are put in a tech situation, it might. I don't know, dude. Sometimes visual cues really mess with you, but I do just yeah. think we're giving him too much credit. I think, think he fucked up. <laughs> Even or he's got good. insane amount of sauce. Like, top players are human, guys. Okay, very similar percents here. Another great thing about Fox just in general that you want to have versus Sonic Ooh. is just being able to catch Sonic, right? Sonic is so quick, usually after the spin dash or the spin charge on shield. Oh! doesn't catch him. I love when he does that F smash. You tech yeah. away, you get close to that blast zone. Instead of staling the up smash that wouldn't kill at that point, you get the forward smash. Good job. Sometimes when people tech too, they hold that direction, so you get the bad DI too. I love exactly. that. And Good forward stuff smash there. is just so powerful as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's fresh too, right? Like You never use it in any other circumstance except for if you're tech chasing away. Definitely oh, nice. Really Good wow. scoop right there. That was a tippy toes. Good stuff by Ken. Man, yeah, Fox's up or forward smash, I think, kind of an underrated move. You know, it covers yeah. a lot. I think so too, yeah. And it is strong as hell. Well, and he always kills off the top, that's what everyone says about Fox, right? You right, know, up right. air, up smash, all that stuff, but uh, off the side, he could definitely do that too. It's good for like the town and city uh -oh, kind of uh -oh. pick, right? Where your up smash might not do the job. Yep. Love that Ken went for the double bear right there. If he didn't connect it, Fox would have been in a terrible position to try to recover against Sonic. Look at that air dodge off stage too. That was good. Get out of the string. But now you're getting ledge trap by Light. Sadly for Light. Fox cameras do anything to Sonic off the stage, right? Right. Not really any way to interrupt that recovery. But the juggle, that's when it gets really bad. Sonic struggles to get to the floor against somebody this fast. Normally, you can just hope and pray that your down air gets you out of trouble from the skies, but not. Nah, Fox will be there in an instant. This is a crucial moment right now in the crew battle, too. Is Ken going to tie it up in terms of stocks, or is he going to uh, let the lead grow a little bit more for Team NA? All these lasers are very impactful too. Yeah. Light just lasering Ken up to the perfect percentage what? for Nair up smash. And Sonic is a light character, so. Do you think if Light had just held the shield there, if Ken held spin dash, Light would have just popped his own shield, like just held it so long that it just breaks? I think it would have worked. Honestly. I was thinking that, yeah. Should've. Light's very stubborn. It's true. Okay, the shield getting really I thought he was low. Gonna, I here. thought he was going to up smash, honestly. Same. It would poke or break. Oh my god, up there. <laughs> the dash right out of Woo. trouble there for Light. Okay, now all he has to do is land one killing blow. Maintain a two-stock lead for NA. I like the idea with Ken reaching with a lot of back airs, trying to get his like longest hitbox out there, right? Like just keep the fox away. And it, any hit from that would be good at this percentage. Up oh. there, whoa, good call out. Nice up there. Good job by Light, keeping the stock lead by two. Lights out, baby. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're Tweet Talks family up here. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh my God, Talk Light crap. feeling himself just a little bit too much. Love seeing the guy feeling confident, playing confidently. He got put into a winning matchup, so in a way, too, in crew battles, like you see that a lot, where it's like you get put into a favorable matchup or position, do well, feel yourself, but then you have to play a bad matchup like immediately after, right? So right. we see what they respond. What do you respond with here, though? With Team Japan. Let's hear it, Max. I don't know. I feel like Team Japan. Hold on. Team, Team World. World. Yeah, you're well, well, Yoshi Dora is the captain. Yoshi Dora is yeah, the captain. Sure. Okay, nice you, save. Nice save. W. Let me look at the list, though. Plus, chat loves Japan. Gluto's already out. Gluto would have been a, a great pick. Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. You know. Fox is not easy to counter. Mia Shutan. is also out, too. That was great timing on sending in light. Shutan, too. I think Shutan could be a good pick with, with Aegis. I don't know. But that said, before that, before we get into who's okay. coming up next, 
we got to talk about some of our partners for the event. Of course, big shout outs to Fresh Cut. If you guys want to see all the best clips of the weekend and pretty much just in general, if you want to stay up to date with the news cycle in the fastest way possible, check Fresh Cut out and you could directly support Battle of BC. Every download for the app this weekend goes to the pot. It goes to support the TOs, which is super hype. And if you already got the app, don't worry, you could ship in too. You just got to enter the, uh, the Battle of BC code on the promo codes page. And yeah, big shout outs to these guys, man. Giving back to the community in a big way. Of course, we got Asus, Asus. as well. Asus. Yeah. It's official a monitor and headset sponsor of this event. Of course, you got to see the game and you got to hear the game. And Asus bringing all of that to this event. It's on the stage. It's on all the setups as well. So shout out to Asus. And honestly, thank God for the, the headsets as well. I'm literally so bad at Smash if I can't hear the game. Yeah, agreed, dude. Yeah. Audio cues are so important. It's huge. Yeah, yeah it definitely yeah. is. It makes me at least like 30% worse every time I... Looks uh, like... The choice is locked in, though. Shutan. Yeah. Makes a ton of sense, honestly. Shutan traditionally does well against Light. Shuts yeah. down the offense very well, so we'll see. Yeah, going Pyro Myth or two. Yeah, Olimar would be real rough, I think. Just get tossed around a whole bunch. Pyra, or sorry, Mithra actually having the speed to keep up with Fox. Super important, but he's typically very good against Sword characters, right? That's true. Hey, this is a lights out matchup. You got, you know, Light definitely plays this matchup a lot against Cosmos. Oh, yeah. How Cosmos doing, Braggit? Uh, we don't talk about that, man. Didn't he not do anything in bracket? Because he got lights out, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Start the match. <laughs> wow, Cosmos not even dealing one percent in bracket. Wash. <laughs> JV Tweak got, talks wins JV'd again. in bracket. JV in bracket. Tweak talks wins again, baby. Hey, I'm just saying. I've only been on your podcast. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Where were you though? Me? Yeah, you're on like a business trip or some shit. Uh, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> you don't need to talk about that. Here we go. Here we go. All righty. Going into oh, what oh my god! Uh, oh my god this first stock, <laughs> holy shit! I told you he knows this matchup because the ro the rotation crew really is like Cosmos and Tweak. Like they wow, play. Each other. Wow, that was a great photon edge actually. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah you know who else does a lot of those? Leo. Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Calm loves the run it. run off of the platform so it goes to the other one. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise you just stop on the ledge. Ooh, calling out the jump here. There's no double jump. There's a shine stall. Not gonna collect, catch the illusion to the ledge here. And great DI in, kind of mixing up light, not connecting Ooh, the DI in. Here's the punish. Smart. Oh, and he tried to forward smash the rising part of Pyro's left B right there. That would have been insane. Yeah. Interesting switch right there too. Going to Mithra for the follow up. I thought for sure he'd want Pyro the big sword, the big hits. Oh, but so here we go. This is huge right now for light. Avoiding that neutral air was really good too. That thing just pops you off the top. Hold Still on. Still alive here. Wow, like getting back on the stage and getting oh. the center here against the Pyro, that's huge. Great shield oh. discipline and not jumping. So much Fox is oh. jumping that scenario, but that pulling the trigger. Dude, that oh, no, I think that would have been it, honestly, if that up no. smash was hit. No shot. Pyro, she's Mario wave. Keeping that, I don't know. There yeah, go. see, not even Mithra going <laughs> to die to that. It was a rage, though, Max. Rage, what the yeah. heck? Yeah, but six units of weight? I don't know, man. I, I, I think, for my money, Pyro lived that for sure. All right, fair enough. You know better than me. But here I we go. I suppose so. Oh, there's the down tilt here onto the platform. No, a quick jump coming out from Light. Up and over, and wow, look at this maneuverability. But Light pulling trigger on the up smash once again. Shoots on with the ironclad defense. All right, back throw. Light scheming on something here. If he can get the second stock, that's huge. At this point, you've done your job. Oh, I like that, the air dodge onto the platform. But you can get even more if yeah. you're Light. Oh, but... I think that's going to do it for sure. Nope. Jesus yeah, Christ. Say for sure. There you go. Damn. Oh, coast well. to coast right there. Shoot time. That was huge, actually, bringing them right back into the screw battle. It was looking rough there in the first stock, too. Nice job by Shoot time adjusting, though, bringing World right back into it. What an honest DLC character, honestly. Oh, <laughs> you thought I was joking? <laughs> anyway. Shout out to Pyra and Mither, man. Yeah, sure. They're, they're saving the they're, they're, li they're listening, Max. Yeah. Both of my girlfriends. They're listening right Pyra now. And Mither. <laughs> Hope she sees this, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and oh, crowd's going wild, for Alex, of course. Let's go. I love, I'm a huge Alex fan. Let's huge go. Alex and Shuton lapping this one off because he knows why they put him in. He beat yeah. his ass at Battle of BC4. BC4, yep. Yup. Yep. That was legendary. That was one of the... Wow, he's, dude, this place is going ape shit right now. What is happening? This is one of the most passionate scenes yeah. for their players. Oh, no w, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, BC does. particularly. Yeah, true. Because they don't get a chance in the spotlight all that often. You know, pretty much this is their, their yearly major. Right, and other than that, it's only when Big D and Ouch go out of region and put on a sure. big performance that you really hear of them otherwise. So, shout outs to the crowd here at Battle of BC, and shout outs to the TOs, of course, giving your crowd, your home region, a chance to shine.
Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. This is huge, man. This is huge. It's a one stock lead right now, right? One Shoot stock is not a right lead. back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what a it, close but, crew but battle. Is. This never happens in these like 10v10 crew battles, I feel. It's it's very rare for I mean, I don't think a lead has extended even over three stocks at this point. I mean, the biggest lead we've ever had in this crew battle has been two stocks so far and then it just yeah. keeps waning back down to even or one stock. Let's see if Ouch has something to say about that though. Obviously, not the most work to do here against Shuton before he gets counterpicked himself. But still two full stocks. Get that, get that Jim Rex off the screen. What the <laughs> yeah, hell dude. was that? was trash. Uh, actually, he looks cool after the time skip. You see that? He actually looks cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, He got the Ike treatment where they just made yeah. him super chad. But yeah. Ike never looked that lame, so. Yeah, Ike Biggest was always cool, up. yeah. I like pre-time uh, Is this Ike. a stock, by the way? Okay, I was going to say, damn. Still a bad position for Ouch here. I'm trying to put some damage on the board just to get things started. We got one spacing into the next, by the way. True. Yes. Yeah, it's a run back from the last battle of BC. Right, this is looking like a zero to death right now, though. I love the attempt on the side B, though, from Shuton. You don't see that very often. Good job by Ouch avoiding it, but oh. this is just going to be a zero to death clean by Shuton. A couple neutral wins over and over. And a couple, honestly, the Hurtbox contortion from Mithra was big in avoiding some of those wolf hitboxes. Yo, Shuton uh, saying, I have uh, learned from my mistakes, brother. God. This is not going to be like last time. I'm getting nervous for Ouch, honestly. Uh, Dude, let's okay. think about all right, it. All right, WWW. The crowd goes wild. All right, all right, all right. Last battle of BC, though, a whole year ago, Shuton was only starting to dabble with Hades. Yeah, that's true. I'd say it was like a six-month-old character for him back then, but now it's straight up his main. The Olimar has really taken a back seat. Dang, no follow-up. Just getting the raw forward air. There's the back air he was looking for. Tie game, by the way. Stocks are dead even. World trying to pull ahead here. Ouch. Acclimating to the crew battle here, getting some damage onto Shuton, but almost catching that double jump with the air dodge. Very clutch here for Ouch the Nair. Barely getting through that Pyra up tilt. The air dodge and the movement, right? The air speed from Wolf is so good. Ouch is very good at using both those attributes and playing defense. Back air. Nice stuff there. Ouch. Huge stock for him. Maybe he'll start feeling himself a little bit more now, gentlemen. Let's see. Up B, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Honest hopes DLC. and dreams Thanks. starting to evaporate. And now it's even. Dead even, Max. That's right. A couple forward airs here. A pair. They got to watch the shark of the Mithra up B. That quick snap. Got the hitbox to cover as well. And now, I mean, completely even 13 stocks apiece for both crews. But Shuton, man, really leading the charge when it comes to this match. He has Damn. been all over Ouch, uh -oh. almost taking two stocks unresponded to. I can see the logic, not nice. just because Ouch beat Shuton last year, by the way, but he also was a hair away from beating MK Leo in this oh. match today. Ouch that is sauce true. On the Game drive. five, yeah. And Leo was behind, but the back air gonna almost do it here. Opportunity, though, neutral air. Oh, wait. Oh, are you dead? I was anyway? like, oh, my God. That was a million attack. miles an hour. Oh, my God. Nice job by Ouch. I love that he committed, too. No fear. Offstage edge guard. Good stuff from Ouch. I mean, he got beat up a lot in that first talk, but I love that he never lost the confidence at the end. That was clean yeah. shit from the kid, Ouch. If that was 2-2 in stocks, though, Shuton won. So yeah. Ouch really needing to dig into the he buffer stock one. that he had. That said, just like all-star mode, you know, he's going to heal right to 0%, pick up the heart yep. container before he moves into this next match. Maybe he'll have better odds against the next person that that's, comes in. That's something we should keep track of in crew battles going forward is how much a team heals over the yeah. crew battle. I think that's huge. Yeah. I think that is huge. Write a lot that of value. Down. Write that down, chat. Write that down. I wish we had that's a good one. stats for ultimate, honestly. It would make things so much more deep in terms of, like, statistical analysis. But hold on. I see none other than Nao stepping yep. up to the stage right now. This, this is a player that we've never seen in NA before, and we've barely seen at all before because he really was not known until the last couple months in Japan. That's true. Or at least internationally, right, we right. weren't familiar with this game. So would love to see what he's able to do here against Ouch. Especially bringing a character like Korin, right? I, we saw Leo have his Korin phase, but other than that, never really saw a solo Korin really bringing things onto the map in Japan. And it's great to see Nao, but of course, we got Shattuck in NA as well. Yep. And we're seeing this character get a little bit more popular in Ultimate, which is great to see. And right. I, I feel like Korin has, is a lot more creative in uh, Ultimate than Smash 4. So yeah, it's cool I, to yeah, see. Nao, yeah, I, dude, we were saying that before. We've been talking about Korin actually a lot this weekend because probably because we've been watching Nao play so much. But yeah. I love how pinned in this game is if they're not in a percentage where the kick will kill, you pin, drop the pin, and then tech chase after, which can lead to another pin. Like, it's yeah. really cool. Like, Korin's slow, but setting up those tech chases is really interesting. She definitely has some more creative gameplay than we've seen in the past iterations of Korin, right? Before it was just spam pin, and that's it. I love, too, like, 
with platforms, I feel like we're going to see a stage with platforms because Corrin, like, pinning onto the platform to, like, fall at a disadvantage and getting a jump and then moving around, like, right, right. pin is just more versatile in this game, you know? I like I, it a lot. I've seen some gross Corrin. stuff from Shattuck where, like, Oh, yeah, yeah Shattuck has some pin, crazy setups. The pin will travel all the way out, pokes through the platform, and then, like, on the very last frame of it, it latches to the platform and you get a mix up. Some crazy shit that you can do with this character, right. but she's, I think she really flew under the radar just because, in terms of the transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate, you know, not quite as strong, or at least not too. readily apparent. How strong oh, the buffs! That yeah. recovery buff was huge because yeah. her recovery was true. It was bad before. Like it's good. It's fine now. Like it's good. Well, and the other thing is, with so many swords in this game, like with Roy and Krom, like being popular characters at the beginning, especially, why would you play Corrin? You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like, like what is the choice? That plus Cloud is good. Like there's so many characters that I think have a little more like personality in terms of like how much people like them. Like Corrin is like another Fire Emblem character, right? It's like a meme. Yeah, I feel like her X Factor, it's not even the pin, it's the neutral air, right? Like none of those sorties really have a, a 360 degree landing aerial that combos and keeps you safe. It's pretty gross. So we'll see, I mean, it's it's tough. Um, oh, his tag is Proud Pinoy, which means Filipino. Yep. And yep. Uh, oh, no. I believe that Ouch is also Filipino. Oh, so no, that's, that's very cool. cool. Right. All right, so Corrin versus Wolf here, and I mean, like you were saying, Max, that neutral from Corrin is so strong. One of the few stories that can just frame trap you with rising aerials, Ooh. right? Just rising up air, and then, oh, you air dodge that, falling in, falling there into a combo Ooh, anyway, okay. right? So many different traps, but Ouch can do that, of course, with Wolf as well. Ouch is so mechanical. When he sees a string of offense, he wants. Like, it's just perfect timing all around. The other thing, too, I mean, you talk about neutral air, but dude, up air from Corrin, that's one of the best up airs in the game, period. Oh, straight uh, up. Easily. It's so good. Ooh, the spacing, though, from Ouch. Beautiful punish. Yeah, can you believe he dodged that up air? Exactly. And got a hit with his neutral air. Stubby right. neutral air. Whoa. There's almost a stock for Ouch. Opportunity here for an edge guard or ledge trap. Let's see what he gets. Nothing. Neither, yeah. And, and that Nair, though, like, it's good on offense and defense, which is really, really good for her. Corrin, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Wolf. I was like, actually, oh, true, yeah. actually true for both, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love smash. that about Nao too. Not afraid to just throw out uh, forward smashes. Tried it against Pluto earlier today. Wow. Up B almost getting a kill. This is a huge stock for both players. Either tying it up. Oh, back oh, throw. The the nice twist, twist baby. baby. Yep, let's go. Even true on the west coast of Canada. Good stuff by Ouch. Let's see if we can keep it going here, too. You know, they say New York is a global city. It's true. Let's go, Yankees. Yeah, I'm right. surprised that's your team. I'm from New York, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I always forget that. I know. It's confusing. Down tilt up there. No, Ooh, nothing this yet. This is it. The Nair extension gets the air. Oh, he's feeling himself now. They, I, I wanted like a down throw flash set up or something like that. That would be crazy. Out just trying to break this crew battle open. Frame Whoa. trapping right there into the F tilt. He's going to look for another one here. No. He's breaking Nao's face open. Oh, but very unfortunate. Damn. Letting his guard down in Damn. the face of that multi-hit forward smash charge. Damn, what a great match that was, though. Nao kind of getting done up at the beginning. I'm not going to mince my words, Definitely. Right? Yep. Alpha's farming, but then, you know, that one sneaky ledge trap being avoided right. and just goes right into the forward smash. Very All true. right. So Great stuff uh, on Ouch breaking even, though. Yeah. Breaking even at three brought stops. brought it back because yeah. he got literally zero to death by Shutan to start that off. It, it was looking rough for the hometown hero here, but love that he brought it back. Almost putting them even further in the lead, too. That was really, really nice. But did his job, took his three stocks, and got out. So good stuff to Ouch. Always love watching that kid play. So, All right. N.A., Doing some great things here, but you do have to worry about the two lurking threats yes. being Akala and Yoshidora on Team World, right? Well, we saw Spargo and Leo, too. Yeah, it's, it's I know, it's I know. Beautiful. The anchors are online. Definitely. They're definitely there for a reason, you know <laughs> what I mean? Light and tweak and riddles all done. Big D done. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I could not call it at this point, but it, it looks pretty good for NA. That much That's I right. can say. It's Sam, the go to Let's go, Sam. Yo, Sam shout rules, out man. to Samuel, bro. Killing it this weekend. Truly, truly one of the best TOs I've ever worked with, ever. I've worked with many TOs. I've been in this game for a long time, so Sam killed it. Shout out to the whole staff here, honestly. Production, everybody. Yeah, Battle BC, if you're not here, you're missing out. Vancouver's a beautiful city. We've been so having beautiful. a great time. Some of the best Smash Brothers Ultimate and Melee that we've seen in a minute. It's it's just good to be back, it feels like. so. You know what's funny? is I think uh, Samuel's the newest addition to Gallant slash the Battle of really? BC team. Yeah, and um, you know his impact. Uh-oh, really, really here he comes. Felt. Oh, there wow. he is. MK Leo taking to the stage right now. The fourth and final Luminosity like sure. player, sure, by, it's the clean, way. by the way. Dang. All right, Leo, dang. Where, where'd you get that from? Yeah, that's clean. Leo leveled up his fashion game big time. Put like, that shirt on. The last throwing, year or two. Throwing a Kangle. Call me Rod. <laughs> I'm sorry, Choke. Rod did it first. 
He did. Rod Nasty, baby. Rod we, Nasty. We love you, Rod. <laughs> Rod Nasty. Rod came up with Chuck Nasty, too. He did. He did. I, I called got you these off-white shoes for me, too. Hater of the year, <laughs> 2000. Let's go, Rod. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Nail coming up. Still holding on to two stocks, very clutch stuff. It would have been easy to drop another stock. No one would have blamed Nao in that situation with the crowd going crazy. Ouch really heating up, but here we go. It's good. Violet against Corrin, okay. No, Corrin did oh, come on. Oh, come on, Chuck. No one wants that. All right, let's see what Nao is made of. Now he really gets to see his skills put to the test going up against a player like Leo. Leo versus Nao. Let's go. True, just one letter difference. Same game franchise. Let's do it. Yeah, true. I love Final Fantasy. <laughs> With the Pokemon music, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, dare, RPGs yeah. represent. Neutral air. Look at that. Into an up tilt, spinning all around here. That's Look at that what I'm ambiguous about. with the pin. Yeah. Yep, that's crazy. So weird and like such a threat too. Because not only do you get one of the biggest, safest hitboxes out, but then you also get to move after it. That was pretty close to hitting. Honestly, Leo delaying the the tether just for a split second, able to avoid a disastrous fate. Nao playing amazing right now, though. Okay, Tech Chase scenario coming in with the neutral air, the button Ooh. footstool into the down air. Yeah, tries yeah. to go instantly into a pin there. You knew that pin was coming. Yeah. You know, you got to try it once or twice. Down air off stage, yep. I think it's so huge to show that you have the footstool out of shield setups right off rip. No way. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. Uh, th that is signature class <laughs> MK Leo right there. He wrote the book on that up B off stage. The turnaround up B, he really did. We also haven't seen this Byleth in quite a while, right? I'm and liking Leo. it, man. I Ooh. never thought I'd say I miss Leo's Byleth, but here I am. Yeah, I couldn't oh tell you my who God. Is that it? Is at this See point, but it's looking oh. like Byleth right now. That's for sure. Almost getting another stock with that reverse. I thought that was it, guard. Yeah. He goofed it up just a little bit. Gotta pass him the pen. Fix the reaction time. Here we go. Oh, back air, no. Traps. Yeah, Leo still so slippery, though. Going to get right back in there. And if he finishes this off, yeah, I was going to say Nair to Bear could end the match right here. Jeez. Nao trying to put himself on the board. The kick should do it, though, right to the corner. Good stuff. More stocks for Nao here. Yep. All right, well, that said, if Leo keeps the pace and finishes it off right here, that two-stock lead has not gone anywhere for Team NA. Quick 43% here on Nao. You get the ledge trap as well. These Ooh. nairs are so strong, but Leo's there covering there the spot. Got the tipper Jeez. on the back here is going to be just enough. MK Leo. Yeah, chat, y'all got to make up. Someone's like, why did he drop this character? Dude, every time Leo oh ever picked God. this character, why is, he, why, is he playing, why is he playing Byleth? I love his Byleth. I think, and it's a character that he found so much success with consistently and, and yeah. quickly. Like, yeah. I, it fits his style so well. I think people didn't like it because, like, everyone really liked his Joker. Joker's a little more stylish, I'd say, than yeah. Violet. But yeah. Leo does some really fun stuff, especially when he gets the right matchup. So good stuff, Leo. Bring it up, Team NA. Hey. Pull up the lead, man. Another reason I think people didn't like the Leo Violet is because before Leo, everyone thought that character was ass. Nobody had a high opinion of Violet until MK Leo just, it's just could not stop one. But the buffs, the buffs also helped a lot. But I, yes, and true. Leo, and there's the Leo. But factor, I also right? think people were upset that Violet was the last character in Pass One. Like I think that was also a part of it for sure. Like right. that's yeah. not the character people wanted to see. So no nobody one... picked him up and tried doing anything. You know what I'm saying? True. Leo always trying to prove a point, man. Still the goat, obviously working his way through the main bracket too. Loser side. Who's in Zamba? Shout out to Zamba, man. Yeah, Go right. he's oh, having crazy. a hell of a weekend for himself. Yeah, I gotta yeah. say that Japan level up, bro. Yeah, from too real to ignore. Too true. Yeah, and he did pretty well over there too. You know what I mean? He never mm -hmm. like you know had a huge breakout before. He wasn't like you know the buzz getting fourth or whatever. But he always did consistently well, which is so impressive over there. So it is what it is, man. We're working our way through this crew battle. Only a couple players left on both sides now. So it's Yoshidora, Akala, and who is the last Team World player? Uh, well, want to check the list again? My phone died. It's a Voden, wasn't it? We don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's on the shop page, though. I bet chat knows. You're on chat, the shop who page. is it? Chat. Yeah, we're finally coming to the tail end of this crew battle. Both this is a teams. huge matchup, by the way. We're not even talking about what's on screen. Mr. Oh, Mr. R. R. There it is. Ramen. Sorry, there yeah. you go. Thanks, chat. Just what saying, I, mean? I don't think you want to bet your hopes and dreams on Sheik. So I would guess Ramen next and Akola last. Akola, uh, Akola and Sparkle are going to be the anchors. Let's be real yeah. for a second. That yep, was always, yep. you know, they both said they're MVP. So. And then Team U uh, NA has Mute Ace, Spargo, and Apollo Kage. And AK, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Jazo. Oh, wait, Jazo. Wait, of someone's course. I think. Oh, is that why Jazo couldn't play? Or we, like, did we sub people out? I don't know. Because we don't, the stocks don't line up. Wait, yeah. did Jazo get kicked off the team? <laughs> what? Blood really wasn't on the team, honestly. Dang. <laughs> no uh, way. 
Oh, all those fundraising dollars wasted. Not just playing. <laughs> I feel like they, I don't know, either, it doesn't really matter. Slingshot, by the way. Love that Slangin'. from Leo. He's slanging. Dude, I keep misreading Slangin'. Yoshidora's tag as Sid. Shout out to Sid. Shout out to Sid. <laughs> Sid, yep. I see a Yoshi with the tag <laughs> with those letters, and I'm Maybe. like, oh, Sid. Maybe it's supposed to be Sid. Wow, he what a nair. He's a fan. He's dislikely. Here we go, over there. <laughs> The no ableism here, Hazmat, please. Oh, man. Leo is <laughs> cleaning up. Uh-oh. Oh, falling up air from that distance? Very nice. Great defense. Oh, no, Yoshi doesn't way. want to come in with, like, a drop zone nair fair, right? Oh, there's the eggs. You have the double jump. And, yeah, that tether's so strong. So much distance on that recovery here. Wow, that follow-up, too. Back throw right into the dash attack. Damn, this is straight up one of the most reliable recoveries in Smash Brothers. It's, and it's so good. Like, it's what? so good, yeah. Well, you don't want to challenge it, right? Because if you get scooped, you just die. Like, yeah. <laughs> the risk reward is terrible. Give it to Belmont. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Four no. air up there. Very clean. All right, Yoshidora trying to shrink the margins here. Doing a pretty good job. I mean, he's certainly kept up with Leo so far, but. Uh, it all comes down to this. That was really scary. I mean, this is a match. This is like a dream matchup right now, too, right? Leo versus Yoshidora is something we've all talked about for a while. I mean, swords typically do really well against Yoshi, and I mean... Damn. Uh, oh, what a whip gonna scoop. Punish. Yeah, that was huge, man. There's wow. no worse feeling in Ultimate than whipping an aerial and just sitting there drifting towards your opponent, and they're standing there waiting. It feels horrible, dude. And it happens a lot, because mashing is good in this game. Yeah, and Violet is not that mobile, so, I mean, just the presence of mind from Leo and the positioning, you have to do it preemptively, so amazing stuff. And another reason Violet's recovery being in Tether is so good, the re-grab, the timing's in your hands, yeah, right? We yeah. saw Yoshidora with like, three mix. moves trying to hit him for the non-invincible re-grab. Failed every single one of them. Okay, okay and Le if Leo can take another stock and wipe Yoshidora out, that... He wants to. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's such wants. a big deal. I'm willing to call him for NA if that happens. If he takes the stock? Yeah, mercy rule. Just get him out of here. So much what? damage on the down air. Without the cold on the Whoa, back. Whoa, yeah. the DI mix on the you down throw. Though. Leo reacted to that a little bit, too. He did not like what he saw right there. Good stuff, Yoshidora. <laughs> keeping Team World in this crew battle. And, I mean, we're really getting down to the meat and potatoes here, right? This is really mm -hmm. the core essence of both teams starting with Leo and then obviously we're gonna be moving our way Spargo's got to come out at some point Akol's got to come out at some point and Mr. R the X Factor he Mr. could Mr. either X. do really well or, we'll or not series. do much right I love Roman he's playing too much HDR this weekend he's gonna do terrible <laughs> <laughs> whose fault is that anyway not me bro he'd don't be, put that on me Ricky Bobby he'd be gaming anyway Whoa, that sounded like Was police that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Did, Did you hear that, that chat? Yeah, chat, yeah, yeah. chat, chat. Are we good, chat? Oh, my God. Sheesh. They found me. <laughs> Illegal game reported. <laughs> I heard, I heard oh HBR. No. They called in. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's see the ropes come down from the ceiling. This guy's oh hooting no. and gaming and playing Illegal HDR. Oh, my God. Get him out of here. All right, well. Either way. I, I think it's got to be on uh, Mute Ace, maybe. Possibly. Because you're saving Spargo. You're not. You're saving Spargo, yeah. That's right. Oh, they're at, having at a point, team right? meeting about it. Can we get the, the huddle? camera Shigara on? just doesn't give a fuck. Look at the see how oh, they, you, they can't see him. <laughs> well, and at at the end of the day, you can see the stage lights. They're bright, man. How do you play in the bright lights, you know? That's always a big question. We're coming down the end of the crew battle. This is, this is a big opportunity for all these players. I got to say, too, you get kind of screwed out of the opportunity to be the MVP if you're at the end. Yeah. Because there's just less stocks. Like, yeah, I didn't right, really think about right. that until. Who would you say but the MVP is right now, though? Leo or Meister, I would believe. Yeah, I think Meister, I would say, I'd say high key Meister, Meister, honestly. Yeah. 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 We'll At see. Least well, so far. Taken. At least so my far. Taken, yeah. Akola comes in and just wipes everyone out. It's like, yeah. right, never mind. Hey, Actually, Pluto, Pluto did great, too. Pluto did do great. But he only well. took four, I think. What do you think, chat? Who do you think it is? I mean, I there's, there's Jazzo as well, right? True. W. True. Jazzo w, did w, come w, up w. on the Jet stage the and Jazzo then get kicked off. Old Chuck. I don't oh, think anyone really? else could replicate that. You couldn't that. hear over the Kangle. I don't think anyone anyone could do what Jazzo did in the screw battle. Actually, right? true. I don't think anyone I would think, do it either. And I think they did want him to play against Gluto, but I think they just had to shrink the rosters a little bit. Right, I think right, is what right. happened. So. so I don't think there's AK left. I don't know. I wish we had a, a graphic with that, but it's all good. It doesn't matter. We're going to cast whoever comes up. No, it's Mute Ace. Mute all Ace right. is coming up, yep. With that sense, Egoist shirt. Dude, what is Egoist, and why do like six top players use that as their tag? Some weep shit. Is it uh, Blue Lock. Shadow Lost? No. Yeah, I was going to say, is it the, the volleyball? Soccer. Or soccer. Soccer, okay, I gotcha. Soccer anime. Blue Lock, yeah. Football. Football anime. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Chat said, I like the Jazzo jokes. All right, cool. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I mean, I love Jazzo, so it's just funny that he sat down like, actually, uh, see you later. Nah. 
All right, Yoshidora, he's been sitting there stoically for Blue lock, yeah. the past like four minutes waiting for Team NA to sweat out this decision. Now, Peach versus Yoshi, this is a matchup that, despite these characters being around forever in Smash, they're both kind of uncommon. They're both kind of weird to play. Yeah. And you don't see this head to head almost ever. And we'll see how the combo oh, game for Peach works onto Yoshi. Yoshi having a frame one out. And I mean, Peach, obviously known for the combos, and Mute is definitely the player that executes on those combos consistently, as, especially at that top level. So we'll see if Yoshi Dora can get out with the uh, double jump, if Mute Ace has to go for specific resets or not. Yeah, they both have a weird jump, too, right? Yeah, Which yeah. We were the talking about how Samus jump. and Yoshi have a lot of attributes in common. I think Yoshi and Peach is less so, but. Still something to think about. Yeah. This is interesting because someone in chat pointed out, why wouldn't you say mute for Akola? I think the thing that World has done, or NA has done really well is save two players who are good against Akola for the end. You know what I mean? And, and Leo too, honestly. Like the, the last three, very good against the clear anchor of Team World. So Yeah, and as good as mute is against Akola, Spargo is really yeah. the anti Akola. And yeah. you, you could point to Kagaribi. Especially recently, yeah. You point yep. to Kagaribi and Genesis, but what I really like to reference when it comes to that head-to-head -head is the pre-Genesis, D-Genesis grudge match they had, or the exhibition match more appropriately. Spargo went violent and absolutely fucked Akala up. Well, the thing I would Five point, two, I, I would still bring up Kagaribi because bro is soul searching and all through DLC too. Kazuya, send Kaz send everything. Send uh, Aegis. Fighter you know, pass anything. Two, like, it. what do I have here? Like, there was just nothing right. to me, and it was more recent, obviously, so it's just like I think Spargo really has Akala's number, but either he does, way. He does. Either way, we're going to get into Mute Coming up against Yoshidora. Huge opportunity. Okay, he, that is so embarrassing, by the way. I hope we can cut that out. That was so embarrassing. He missed that. Stop. What the hell was that, Chuck? Are you serious? This is the best Yoshi in the world. He can't even SD properly. I don't are think you, part of the plan. Are Did you he grab kidding the ledge? me? No, he down it. and yeah, just slammed his ass right in front of the ledge. But being bad at SDing <laughs> is probably a good thing, right? What? Being yeah, he's not really SDing. labbing it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> But it's like literally hard not to kill yourself. Like if you're trying to in the game, you know what I mean? Like that's actually hard to do. True, true. I'll give it up. <laughs> Whatever. Best Yoshi in the world and not killing himself. That's for sure. All right, we got the uh, bear into well? the bear into potentially another. Where the? Oh, it's Mute. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen Mute? Ace? <laughs> <laughs> We're not the double egg. Not the double egg. Oh, oh my no. god. Never mind. He is taking stocks. Yoshi Dora bringing this one down. Zero to death again. Another zero to death for the world team, by the way. Okay, now it's Mute Ace's turn for a zero to death. Copium. Okay, oh, many wait, up airs. Up. Oh, wait, what? Are we serious right now? Mute Ace is pissed. That back oh. air hit, by the way. Come on. Oh no. Come on. Tech chase. Oh, there's gonna be many up airs. The reset here. Uh, up air. I, sometimes I swear is Yoshi's best button. I think it is. It's straight up. Very well, good. I don't know. Neutral air exists too. And back airs. I don't know. He's got good buttons, honestly. Yeah, there's like a really good heat check, but I feel like up air does so much for you. <laughs> Try to go air to air here. Mute Ace getting a grab, looking for the follow up. Good air dodge to the platform. Mute Ace trying not to bleed anymore here. Trying to take this last stock from Yoshidora. High yes. percentage here, has a bit of rage. Trying to set up this ledge trap. The back here, such a good corner tool here, but. Oh, oh my god. No. Wait Two a minute. Stocks. This is huge, actually. Yoshidora, amazing play so far against Mute Ace. Yeah, Mute Ace just can't close out this Bro, Yoshi stock. Don't forget how hard Mute, how hard of a time Mute Ace had in Japan, by the way. Like that was True. such a thing. But here we go, back Game. air, taking it down. But Yoshi Dora's got to be very satisfied. Couple Leo socks, couple Mute Ace socks. Very clean stuff for the best Yoshi in the world. But Mute Ace still on the board here, and an opportunity uh, to prove himself a little bit more. And Yoshi Dora was cooking though. Took two stocks, only had yeah. one stock. So I mean, slowly but surely bringing the lead or you know, dwindling the lead that NA has. Yeah, it was looking pretty bad, but suddenly it's just one single stock. So we'll see. I mean, again, the options for Team World are Mr. R and Akala. I don't know if I'm in love with the choice of putting in Mr. R just for the sake of saving Akala for last, right? Sheik, very fragile character. She could very well lose a stock or two to Mute Ace. Let's think about Sheik against Cloud is also a good matchup, too. So now mm -hmm. I think you send Akala here. I think you send Akala, to be honest send with you. Send Steve. But it's into Mute Ace, yep, who's yep. great against him, too. So, oh, 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 the crowd hushes. Did you hear that? Oh, this mm -hmm. is big. I love this hype. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see how. Look at Mute. <laughs> Wait patiently. Has Aqua learned some new tricks wise, in this Mute matchup, is. right? Wise, wise, wise. Mute thinking. Mute has something to prove here after dropping those two stocks, too, I gotta say. And after his track record in Japan, it would feel really good for him to be able to Agreed. shut Akala down here. Agreed. At least just take one stock from him. That's really yeah. all we're asking at this point. Don't let this become even. 
Yeah, World Team Team NA has had the lead the entire time practically, and we'll see if the anchor, the tail end of the World's crew can bring this back. And I mean, they they already have. I mean, it's it's only a single stock, right? Yep. By the way, can I just say what a treat it's been to have all of NA together, Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. Yeah. finally playing on the same crew. Very true. Normally, you don't see Leo and Spargo allied with players like Light and Tweak, for example, right? They're always going at it in all the exhibition the matches we get, but yeah. finally, this is the one event that it's felt worthwhile to combine all of NA together. International talent has been on the rise so much since the end of last year, right? I think it really came out in a big way, and we're seeing probably the most competitive it's ever looked Dude. with all of NA together. Huge hey, look at that Steve movement. opportunity here for both teams to oh, help. All right. Instantly arm themselves with that, going right through the wall. I think one of Mutis' claim to fame one of the best players in the world against Steve. Let's see yep. how that works here. Yeah. Only one stock, though. A lot of pressure on the Peach here. Yeah, it feels like Team uh, World was in, Mick, in a Mickey's little bit. Dish. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, offstage facts. edition. The fact that. Akola was mining on the way down on the anvil, too. <laughs> He's just chilling. So brave. Oh, and he stuck at the ledge. Mute Ace yet to even sustain a scratch here. Okay, upgrading the weapon here. Here's the forward air, the turn up in hand. Tries to knock Akola off the minecart, but just a tad bit off on the crown. This, 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 sorry, would, go ahead. this would be a huge stock for Team NA. Like, this is any stock you can take away from Akola is a huge W. So far, Mutes on track to get it done, only taking 30 in the process. But we know how dangerous Steve is once he gets the diamond weapons in hand. He might have to wait for his second stock to do it, though. And that's, again, the ask is only one stock at this point. Mutes can feel good walking away with this, only taking one. But again, you can run away with it, too. You take one stock, potentially you look for another one. Peach, you hit a down tilt on the second stock with a little rage. Oh, nice. Okay, he was just scooping in the air. Yeah, those anti are gonna be so good against a character like Peach that wants Ooh. to go great. Oh! 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 What a setup okay. right there. That was so good. Akko get a tie game again. 2v2. Bro. Damn. Oh, what is going on? NA with Spargo and AK left? This would or never Spargo in question mark. We don't really even know what this wouldn't happen if the they sent in Jazzo earlier. That's true. They're saying would have been last, bro. To be fair, Jazzo has not dropped the stock yet. This crew battle. He hasn't even gotten hit. Put him in. <laughs> he hasn't. He did get hit show. off of the stage, like in real life. You surely send Spargo here, right? Yeah, he I lost match in real life. Right there, the play here from Team World, I think, was to force out the anchor, and then in the event that Spargo wins, which I'd say is likely, then you have Mr. R, who might just take that last stock with some kind of brutal edge guard or just really clean Sheik play. Cloud is not the greatest against Sheik. We it's saw how worst, but. we saw well Void did at Summit, of course, one of yep. the biggest upsets we've seen in Ultimate history was Sheik versus Cloud in that very player matchup versus that character. So. It'll be really interesting. There he is, Spargo. Okay. Spargo. Oh, this is oh, this is big. I mean, this is truly. You talk about two players who are up for best player in the world right now. And yep. They're coming up against each other. Three full socks. There's no, no holding back here for sure. It's gonna be Cloud versus Cloud versus Steve. A thousand percent. Yeah. At this point, these are the two front runners for the King Slayer title, right? Finally, unseating MK Leo as the number one player in the world. I don't want to say that this crew battle is necessarily a prelude to who's going to take that spot, but you know there's that slight implication every time these two go up and at it right. that whoever wins, they're definitely pushing their case for number one in the world, even in a one best of one crew battle, right? Got Let's Go Spargo Chance popping up in the crowd. Here we go. Oh, they love big British Columbia. That's awesome. What? <laughs> Oh, they love uh, British Broadcasting Channel or Corporation. Yes. Right? Yep, that's true. Yeah, yeah, big w, fan w, of the w, news. W, Give it up for the w, news. W, w. There we go. Like to stay educated and informed. All right, so Spargo versus Akola. Six so stocks funny, apiece. <laughs> now that we're out of clip, clip range, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. God damn it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Uh, Akala versus Spargo, those two two best players in the world. Get serious, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I can't believe it. Like, why? Not that sign, not now. Oh, charging the up smash. That must have been a missing point. Forward air cross slash is a ton of damage right now. Spargo taking an early lead, but as we know, it doesn't mean a whole lot. Hold the back air ledge pressure, and Spargo off to such a fucking hot start, man. He really does have Akala's number, and not just in his phone. Ooh! And again, oh, that no, cloud back air. Limit. Holding the ledge, Spargo does that so well. He'll hold the ledge, force you to recover at a bad angle, and if you get around whatever his uh, limit setup is, he'll just ledge trap you afterwards. It's so good, man. Limit is gone, though. 
Yeah, not putting into any use whatsoever, Oof. really. You see the Nair land right on Aqua's head. It is too safe, though. I'm actually surprised that Aqua is trying to respond aggressively out of shield to Spargo. You kind of have to just respect that. Mm -hmm. Ball pair okay. stringing together. Good aerials. Look at this. Aqua fighting right back. Try to get that fireball wow. through the platform for the back here, but not what? able to connect here. Ah! The anvil almost catching Spargo, but the ledge roll keeping Spargo safe. But for how long? A cola landing another hit off stage with the limits online. Nice, oh. the double back air slinging too. By the way, great pressure there from Spargo. Oh my God, he floated a hanging curveball, not knocking it out of the park though. There's the cross slash parry forward smash. Very nice. Yep, that counterplay is going to evolve. Where's he going? Okay, oh. nice going underneath. Yeah, it's like Celeste. You know what I mean? Like you got to figure <laughs> it out the fly. Like, am I going under? Like, which way am I going? But Spargo figuring it out, pushing the block early too. That's the way to do it right there. I like that. And Cloud so fast, it worked out. That was clean. That was like the helicopter game, bro. <laughs> you gotta go yeah. Down in the nose. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Limit almost online here for Spargo. Can Spargo rack up any additional damage on this stock? Oh, really? The answer is no. Cola getting a bit more resources as well here. Oh my god, dude, this is this is insane. Oh, here's the parry. Doesn't matter on that forward air, there's no way. Just gonna snatch him out of the air with that cross slash, and it looks like Spargo has go. just been in control the whole time. Akala, props to him for being able to make it an Ooh. even game so quickly. Defending the ledge so well, air dodging in, but what a great minecart, great timing on that, able to trap Cloud on the other side, but limit climb hazard, putting NA ahead on the stock lead again. Dude, if Spargo two stocks him, yeah, there's no shot that Mr. R is doing this all on his own. I'm not saying that. All right. Five stocks with Sheik, bro. I Easy. love the guy. He's one of my best friends in the whole world. Easy, bro. It's Mr. R we're talking about. That's, That's five Cloud. gims. Yeah. Yeah, it's five true. Guards. <laughs> yeah, whoever wow, goes in next will okay. play Cloud, too, just to give him a chance. <laughs> Jocelyn's Cloud. Yo. <laughs> he plays Cloud. Plays Does him he? in doubles. Yeah, we learned that. Breakfast with Jocelyn. Our new podcast. Here we go. Wow, so much floor. There is one. Wow, he spot that, nice, by the nice way. Matrix. Okay. Moving around that smooth. The anvil and the minecart <laughs> right on top of each other, that is nightmare fuel. Op, this is a huge opportunity for Spargo, like you said, to take it, but Seg gets oh. hit by the side. Oh, all right, hold, hold on. Hold, hold on now. up. Yep. Now, let's chill. If you guys will recall a tweet from yesterday by Spargo Dude, SSB. Dude, so good, man, by the way. I love that he was talking his shit. <laughs> it reads as follows. Fuck Steve and Steve Apologist. Yep, down there, man. He said, can I talk really my shit again? Fuck Steve. Yep. <laughs> can, I can I talk, talk my, my shit again? again? Very nice job there by Spargo. Oh, like we can't do that one anymore. As anticipated, as anticipated, Spargo taking that one down. But Akola not getting, close, letting yeah. it get too out of hand, right? So yep. Akola still taking two stocks there. So we'll see if Mr. R can clean up the last stock on Spargo without losing any. So could have a three-stock face-off for the final part of this crew battle here. True. Well, no matter what, there had to be a lead for one of the teams going into the final player. There's a very realistic chance. This comes down to three. There he three. is. Mr. R is walking up to the stage right go. now. Just one edge guard away from tying the crew battle up. And I, we genuinely don't know who NA's last player is. It could be Spark, or uh, AK. I, I bet be you it's AK. I bet you it's AK if they pulled Jazo in that spot. It would be my guess. Because if he could play, they probably would have let him. But It would be insane for it to be AK because all day on Thursday, AK and Mr. R oh, yeah. were playing in oh, really? my room yeah. for hours and hours and hours, and it was really back and forth. Like, I couldn't tell you who the clear winner was in those friendly sessions. So, Mr. R's got sauce. Chat's sleeping right now. Come Mr. On. R's amazing, yeah. Come but on, for, Chat. For those of you guys who uh, are doubting, definitely don't. I was saying five stocks might be a tall order for a character like Sheik, right? She has but four? ceiling out stocks in general. Four is possible, especially, well, especially one's, cloud. one's Cloud. If you get, get a quick one off Cloud, see what happens? I don't know. And then the anchors are gone. So right? I think mentality is such a big part of this time in a crew battle, or in general in crew battles. So it's like you need this kill and you need to take the stock without dropping any, but you can't let that like cloud your vision. You can't let it be Tunnel Vision City because Spargo eats that shit, you know? Yeah, Spargo is so, so good at sensing the slight cracks in a player's mentality. Yeah. We'll see if uh, Mr. R can go ahead and find that you know, matchup specific Edge guard right, Sheik is so strong against Cloud, especially with no limit. Right off the rip at 0%, that's when Sheik needs to strike. Oh, everyone keeps saying it's Onan. Chat is saying that it's Onan, by the way, at the end. Was Onan on the list? I think he was, actually. That's Onan rules. Yeah, I think Onan was on the list without the Bowden. So, rest in peace to uh, to the Bowden. Sonic's getting bodied by piece of stuff, and then, you know, I... We already, we know what happened with Jazzo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sparkle! That's it, forfeit. Wait. He hit him. He forward aired him. Without dropping his stocks oh, first. Oh, oh, I see. I was like, wait, did he really just zero to death him while I was looking in the the, pro uh, 
Hey, what's up, guys? Project monitor. What the fuck? Hey, hey, everybody, we're back. Um, you, what did I say, baby? By the way, what did I say? Actually, it was really. You did have a contingency. Push. It was pretty much everyone else, honestly. Light did well. Yeah. However, However. Meister, Meister, Leo, and, and Spargo now too. Yeah, Team Mexico really bringing home for NA. Yeah, USA. true. All right. Yo, go, if USA. this was on, US baby. and Canada versus the world, we'd be cooked. <laughs> you have the wrong shirt on, brother. I'm I it. love my continent. I'm doing great. <laughs> All right. Really? Let's hit it, guys. Let's get into it. Yeah. Spargo against Mr. R. Huge opportunity here for Mr. R. Let's see here. Okay. Sheep versus Cloud. Yeah, this is not necessarily an awful matchup, but it's definitely tough, right? You have to be so precise with Cloud because one offstage situation can be everything. And Sheik normally doesn't have that luxury of being able to kill early. Okay, Spargo. And, but one thing, Sheik is very light, and I mean, Cloud just gets so much good. Even just stray hits, or you can get those two piece combos into the cross slash. Really is your main strategy here if you're Cloud. You, you just have the damage output, you have the stray hits, but is this going to be a limit for us? Yes. Nice Rama throwing out the needles as well. He's so good with those needles off stage, especially short hopping, using them, even like a, a small counter needles, like one or two, right? So here we go, Spargo, marching forward here. You've got to imagine up. that Mr. R feels pretty confident after knowing what Void did, right? I mean, right. those two were neck and neck for the title of best Sheik throughout the entirety of Smash 4. We haven't seen too much of Mr. R in Ultimate, right? But, yeah. I mean, you'd have to imagine that their skill level is still at least somewhat close. Oh, trying to get the parry, but a tad bit too early for Mr. R. That, I mean, that backer almost did it. Neutral get up in that position is so scary. If he just lets that cross slash rip, it's over. It's rip. Every answer oh. is the wrong answer. Oh, and the blade beam's going to cover it. All right, boys. Are we wrapping it up? Are we calling it for NA? Nah. Yeah, this, this is going to be tough. Shut! <laughs> no! <laughs> Look, we can be realistic. Oh, okay, yeah, now we're calling it. <laughs> the 8% was it. Yeah. Well, it was the miss. Well... I, you know, never sleep on ramen. Come on, you guys already know what it is. It's true, he could run it back three stocks to two. And again, we don't even know who's coming in next, but Onin, I think, is the most sensible option. We should send Larry Lur next, is what we should do. Oh, that would man. be fire. Send Larry. Spargo is doing so much work here. You're gonna get onto the ledge, keep the limit as well. Mr. R can't find this stock, and now the percentages are so high. Ooh. Can't really set off this offstage situation here. Great roll. Now Spargo gonna try to charge up that limit. No, just goes aggressive with the cross slash here. Jumping up the ledge. Okay, back throw. Looking for the up air. I think that dash attack honestly might have killed at that point, but here we go, back air. Okay, we're going down to a three stock to two competition to close it out. This is really close. He, Raman did a great job closing out that last stock without being put down to his final one. So good stuff there. Mr. R stopping the bleeding as much as he can and getting us to a very competitive three socks versus two. And it should be Onan against Mr. R if chat's telling the truth. As they yeah. always do. That, that was still rough though, man. Like yeah. Mr. R was supposed to be kind of like the counter pick to Spargo and he almost lost two stocks. He went one process. to one, yeah. Yeah, and he got healed up, yeah. But setting it up so that, you know, on either side, if it's three versus two for the final stocks, Decent position, you know what I mean. So not, not bad. Not bad. Here. But it is against it is against Onan too, who's one of the hardest hitting Steves on the planet, which is going to be very very tough to deal with. One thing too that Chat pointed out was in the match of Spargo uh, versus Akola, Akola didn't get a single diamond. That that is interesting. So we'll see how that plays. You know, maybe Mister can follow some sort of similar blueprint uh, blueprint for that matchup. But we'll see what he comes up with, man. It's going to be scary. If it is Onan, I'm not even sure. I believe you, Chat. Obviously. Yeah, I just think it's a little harder for Sheik to force Steve away from the crafting table in the same way that Cloud does, right? Obviously, she's very fast, but she's not hitting you as far. Yeah. You know, she's very light. You could get her far away from you and have time to craft, have time to mine, right? Yeah, a lot, right. Of, lot of factors go into that. So right. I'm not sure. Uh, this this is definitely going to be an uphill battle for Mr. R, regardless of who comes in right now, regardless of what the matchup is, just because you're down a stock. Yeah, chat's right, like, zoning. There you go. Chat was right. Hey. Chat's always no, right. No, Jazzo? L. L, L, L. Nah, but Onin. This is a throw, not sending a Jaws. Again. <laughs> Again. It's like uh, they don't want to win. Actually, I, I'm fine with sending the Steve player in to it close it out for NA. Hey, hey, that's more one of the best Steve players on the planet. Come on. Put some respect on Onin's thing. Absolutely. Oh, I thought you were saying Jaws was one of the best Steves in the world. I bet you Jaws would have a good Steve. He plays him in doubles. I learned that at breakfast. No, he plays he plays Cloud in doubles. Yeah, and Steve. Intelligent. Oh, I guess you got up after... Uh, after you finished eating. See ya. Soon stay for the brunch. All right, here we go. Send Onan. Mr. R, two stocks against Onan's 
three stocks. Let's get into it. Should be good to close out the crew battle, too. Yeah, yeah. she gets some interesting tools against block. I mean, just in general, characters that have those lighter hits aren't going to be that great at disarming the blocks, but she has things like the grenade that can disarm some blocks and stuff. So we'll see how Mr. R plays up against this uh, this character, this player here, Onan on the Steve, the best Steve in North America, right? So we'll see what Ramen has in store for the Steve, for Onan. And now here we have to see the answer to how much uh, she experience Onan has, right? You True. gotta that's know a, that's how to a good fight point. Steve. That's a good point. Everybody out there knows this matchup at this point, but Sheik is kind of rare, man. And I was gonna say, when you mentioned the grenade, Charles, not just getting rid of the blocks, but also just dropping Going it over on it, top. Yeah. yeah, and disregarding them entirely. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because it's so telegraphed. You uh -oh. oh, hell God. of a lot of oh, time. No. Oh, no. Uh, if you're not familiar with the meme, poor Mr. R, we, you might be today. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, it might be back on the menu. He is definitely like Eugene from Hey Arnold, man. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not okay. Try to go for the double Oh my god, here. he almost got hit in the leg and died. I'll just say it. It's true. All, All these okay. trades, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Turn around, get the back air there. Good stuff from Onan. Oh, Up this smash. Smash. Oh. Do it. oh, no, wow. okay, okay. Opportunity here, Mr. R charging the needles. Okay. What are we drawing today? I mine. You never know. That was like a mountainside or a staircase. Yeah, it's very, uh, very. I'll take the stairs. It's like the the Vancouver countryside, you know, with the mountains. <laughs> yeah, true. Very beautiful, very inspiring. But here we go, Onan putting Mr. R under his last stock. Oh God, that was graceful right there, <laughs> moving around. Uh, all right, come on. <laughs> that was a, just a little one. Please. A little podium. That's right. First, second, third. Here we go. Oh, oh, there's a the needle, the fish. bouncing fish, wow. and the block doesn't save Onan, but great DI coming in from oh. Onan, the grenade, not going to get, oh, but the you needle into up smash, smash. That, yeah. didn't come through. He didn't believe, just wanted to roll to safety. Onan looking really good here. Oh, wait, why did it go that far? Excuse yep. me? Oh, and needles, yeah, you could just jump and shoot them over the wall. Yeah. Pick up a bouncing fish, confirm, maybe. Okay. Onan try. honestly... Bouncing yeah. fish confirm. Okay, Mr. R right on the board. What's okay. crazy is that he just showed him that, and then Onan built the same wall and got hit by the this same setup. Matter, yeah. So, Mr. R, if you can get a clean stock against Diamond Steve somehow, this is going to be doable. Yeah, this is, I was going to say the Diamond is, is uh, ready to go. Oh, okay. No, 53. 53 is a chat. lot on Sheik, too. Yeah, that's Adds more than half quickly. her stock. Uh -huh. oh, oh, nice, oh, nice pickup right there from Onan. Looks like we might be seeing the end of the crew battle here, gentlemen. Looking good for NA. However, this is Mr. R. He's marching across. Oh, the needle! I've said, man, his needles are so good. Onan, pretty low on resources here. Yeah, stock right now would be big, but it's chic, so like I don't know how you do that. But Mr. R is trying to cook something up. Oh, the back hit of the Nair. Mr. R keeping the pressure up. If he takes the stock sub 90, I know. it's possible. It, dude, the crowd's coming to life a little bit. They're feeling... Oh, oh my oh. God! The call out here is the grenade going to be enough, but the Nair knocking Onan onto the stage way. here. Exactly. What a sequence though for Mr. R. That was so clean. Got to be careful here. This is huge. Look at literally zero materials. If Mr. R gets a kill right here, we're going down the last. Oh wait! Oh my God! Oh. Not that air dodge. Oh, the European air dodge. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, Odin clinging to life here. Blessed 112 percent. Oh, and skips 113 in the process. Very Dude. tactical, getting hit by that. Smart from Onan right here. Build up, even if you have to go to the last stock, if you have the materials for it, that is huge. Yeah, we see that extra diamond ready to go. The crowd is going ape shit right now. Up air. Oh, he's oh. late. Nice. Gets a down smash. We're down to last stock situation. Odin's feeling the pressure for sure. All right, when I said sub 90, I actually meant sub. Ah! Dude, holy shit! There's so much things to avoid. The anvil, the diamond weapons, the minecart. Mr. Bouncing R. fish. Can you play the stock he, of your life? Dude, what was that block stun? He was playing so well around Anvil, too. Oh, no. Oh. 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 And he's playing well against the minecart. Mr. R. Drag down. Another. No way. Another. Oh, no oh. jump. No jump. Oh. Yeah, he's going high, obviously. You're not going to be oh looking for Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that's it. Like I said, he was playing so well around the Anvil up until the end. Mr. R played immaculately. Y'all are haters, by the way. I said he could definitely do it, and he certainly proved that. He yeah, so I mean, I didn't know we got thrown in, all right, bro? Like, oh, he was dang. just giving that away at some point. But, nah, he clutched up in a big way. Once Mr. R couldn't land that up smash, he knew it was go time. Yeah, and there was only one iron in the inventory for Onan, and Mr. R went for that read, went for the up smash, but Onan jumping out of danger and getting the reversal with the final iron 
to end the crew Dude. battle. NA winning with just one stock. The crazy, and that's one of the things about fighting Steve's. Mr. R played so well around the anvil the entire time. Waiting it out, baiting, getting the down smash, just not challenging him immediately so many times. The one time he did the immediate challenge, there it is. And that was crazy. dropped it right on there. Um, Good stuff on him, closing that one out. By the way, did he even have a, a time to mine on that last stock? Was that just like the pity respawn iron that got him out of there? Yeah, yeah. I, I, Ramen was I doing a great job was. of just pressuring Onan at the end He's there. He's good at the Steam matchup.